probably can't tell that I changed office. When there's an injustice against you or someone you love or someone you believe in, stand up. Don't sit down on them. You know, if they need you. Welcome to Pop Culture Justice. I'm Andy Signar here on Popcorn Planet, and today we have a very important topic I want to talk about, and I hope you guys will be able to sit through and discuss this one civilly with me because I'm going to get a little out of here. I'm sure I'm going to lose it. I'm sure some of my panels might lose it, uh, but this is a tough topic, so I'm giving sort of a warning up ahead of some of the sensitive topics we're going to talk about because it's sort of the worst thing that can happen is losing your children uh, in a school it just shouldn't happen. I don't know why it's still happening. But beyond even that issue, beyond all those debates, we now have footage that's come in from Uvalde uh, where the uh, events of Rob Elementary have now unfolded in real time. And we can see the footage and we can see the police response. And it's sickening. It is disturbing. It is infuriating. And I thought it was important to have more of a broader conversation about this. Yes, I know there's a certain woman whose motions were all denied. We knew that was happening. What else can we talk about? I'm not going to keep talking about it. My God, this is so much more important than sitting and talking for an hour about that dumb woman whose motions we knew were going to get denied. And yes, big news. Oh, they were denied today. So no, we're not going to spend an hour talking about that nonsense again. We did that yesterday. Today, I want to talk about something much more important. And I hope you'll spread the word and start carrying on with us upon other important stories. And I can't think of one more important than this one. Uh, and I'm so happy because we got a uh, retired sheriff, detective, uh, all around expert, John Hubbard here to join. Uh, it's Kim. Uh, so happy to have you both as we talk about this topic. How are you doing, John? It's been a while. Great. Been busy. Good. I'm glad you're busy. I wish it was, you were here on more happier terms. Uh, but I know I forwarded you this footage this morning and you were watching it yourself to sort of prepare for the show and you were getting pretty upset as well. Uh, Kim, I know you uh, also, this is, a t this is tough stuff to watch and I'm still debating how much we really want to show you guys. I know a lot of you guys don't really want to watch it. I'm not, obviously, we're not going to see the acts themselves happen, uh, but there's a lot of before and after moments that I think are important to sort of watch parts of to really see the breakdown and things that happen. Kim, how, how tough was this footage for you to watch? Incredibly, incredibly tough. Um, but it, and I, but I think it's true that we need to talk about this. It's yes, it's easier to turn it off and to think that this didn't happen and all of that type of stuff, but unless we all look at it, unless we all talk about it, unless there's conversation and we enact change, nothing's going to change. Amen. So. Uh, all right. So here's where we, there, there's a bunch of new updates that I'm going to break down. And aside from the footage, I, this is a case I'd sort of been hearing about. Um, Pascal was sort of looping me in on some of the stuff. And, and it's just something I hadn't really delved into until we had some more information officially. And now we really are starting to get it. And over the past couple of weeks, we've had some updates. For those of you who don't even know what we're talking about here at the start of this show, uh, there was a shooting in Uvalde, Texas, at Robb Elementary School. Uh, there were 19 children that lost their lives and two teachers. Uh, we A lot of frustration throughout the community as to the police response. The police mentioned that there were, well, we couldn't get in. There were, there were locked doors and a lot of sort of excuses that they were sort of throwing out there that a lot of people weren't buying. Well, the truth has finally been coming out over the past few weeks. There wasn't any doors locked. Police didn't try to open it without a key. All the sort of things that we've been sort of hearing have turned out to be false. And there were multiple agencies on site within minutes within minutes guys and nothing was done and the most frustrating update that i was unaware of that this was actually something and this really took me this one really took me for a hit they had the shooter in their sights but didn't take him out because they couldn't hear back in time i i just i can't even begin to express the frustration and anger i have towards all those lives lost because this agency didn't have their shit together. I mean, John, I, I got to start here. Like as an officer, you, you're a sheriff, you've been in these high stress situations. When, when we watch the, the footage itself, which is what's crazy as this footage starts, uh, which again, viewer discretion advised, it's, it's so bizarrely starts with, I didn't even realize the shooter is in a car accident, crashes the car into a ditch and then is there for a few minutes before two witnesses, I don't know if they're, I can't tell who these people are, but as you see that the real time here, 
Minutes later, it looks like some adults or teachers or somebody approached the vehicle sensing something went wrong. You'd think this would be something that would be suddenly the school already in high alert, right? And then as they proceed, again, warning, as they proceed to uh, go check what's going on, gunfire and both uh, run away. Someone, see, I think, gets hit. They both run away from the from the shooter. Um, you would think, I can't tell if they're officers. I don't know who they are. But then more minutes go by. Uh, school is now alerted that this is happening. So it's not like this guy ghosted into the school. There's a crazy accident, loud noises, shots fired out school, outside. And then this guy just slowly starts hopping a fence and walks in through the back door of the school. Now, John, apparently during this time, there was already a police officer on site before he entered the building of the school, had an opportunity to take him out and didn't, as he's now hopping a fence and still continuing. What is your frustration? I mean, what is your reaction? Are you as frustrated as we are? Should this have happened in the first place? What, does the officer have to wait? Or is this enough to be like, all right, something's wrong. I'm taking out his leg. Like, what, what is your reaction here? Well, clearly, if, if one of those two gentlemen that walked over there was a cop, they should have taken him out right then. Even if they were not, I'm sure they had cell phones that could have dialed 911 immediately and never allowed this guy on campus. And if there's a cop there, that's his job to respond to, to a situation of, uh, of danger, which he clearly is. He, he, he wrecks his car and then starts shooting at the guys, and they still allow him to get on campus and get inside the school? Totally unacceptable. Beyond that, the school doors at this point should have all been on lockdown. There is reports that I guess a teacher had propped open one of the doors for some reason, which is a big, you know, why? How did that happen? Um, th that people are saying, well, it wouldn't have mattered with the artillery he had. It would have been very easy for him to, to knock and get in through that doorway anyway. But again, all of this time, I'm looking at the clock minutes this is about six minutes of time as this Who's person gonna lock down immediately yeah i mean when that when there was a car crash outside you'd think they would institute a lockdown immediately well um, then when he starts shooting at him i mean give me a break now it's not just a regular car i don't want to play the audio it's just it's brutal i don't want to show oh, this bad. person and give them the, the attention that they're looking for but here it is the person walking through the school door gets in no problem walks down the the hallway and again warning this this one really 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 got got me walking down to the room you're not going to see any of that action but this little boy comes around the corner and thank god sort of stops and catches and sprints away uh the shooter then proceeds to go in i believe to the room to the left which again apparently wasn't locked Another, beyond just the police responsibility, I'm confused how that happened. There, I, I did re read a report that one of the locks was shot at or, or, or messed up. There were two classrooms he allegedly was part of. But now this is when the shooting is happening. You can hear it. Uh, the gunfire is off in this hallway. Again, I'm not going to play the audio. It's just too much. But I, I assure you I did. It's really rough it's to listen to. It's fairly nonstop. And it's a lot of fire. A lot of fire. And what's really, you guys, I guess I want to hold on, lower this down so you can see the time is what's really crucial about this video that you're staring at. Real time. He's been in there. It started about seven, eight minutes ago. And I want you to pay attention to the clock because that's really what's going to be the most troubling thing about this entire story. More and more goes off, more and more goes off. No one's still there. As sad as this is, okay, I understand they're still en route. They're coming. It should have, They should have been there faster. But, okay, the, he's in the room. It's happening. This is already just unacceptable. Uh, waiting is, again, it's taking this long for the officers to arrive on scene and in the hallway. There's apparently a glass door back here. Sorry, it's back in the, in the back where officers are also on. And, again, as you'll see, creating a crossfire scenario where they can't even engage across from each other because there's no rhyme or reason or organization between the departments as to, well, maybe we shouldn't be standing across from each other while, you know, blanking this, you know, sign this person off. Uh, so again, clock still ticking. 
earth shattering, uh, shattering long. I mean, uh, this shouldn't have taken this long, no? John, I mean, someone should have already been in here, correct? The guy that's on campus should have been over there. Most of these schools have someone on staff, security in place. Some of them armed. I imagine in Texas they were. This one was. Was he armed? Can someone in the chat help to confirm that or not? But again, still waiting, still waiting. Absolute eternity. And now officers arrive. At both ends. You can both see ends. Yep. There's some shadow on the other side, on the other side, and then here come these these officers who approach. Now, for those of you who can't hear, because he's got the. I'm going to turn audio this audio off. off. Because now he's going to shoot at them. I, I'm, I'm assuming. He's checking his phone. Literally two shots and the dude runs like, oh, I, I tried. More shots now are fired while they're not even there. And now they're like, oh, I guess, okay, well, I guess we can't go in there. More fired. This guy, I guess, got grazed. I don't know, but he's done trying. I mean, uh, John, I I'm sorry. I'm fr uh, wh what? Why on earth are they already back here? Okay, they were shot at. I understand that's not not good. You got to protect yourself too. They're wearing Kevlar vests. The kids inside aren't. We now have to time lapse because they're still holding back. Like what on earth is this? What 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 is the protocol in a situation like this? Somebody on there has got to have a shield in their car, to because you know the Kevlar. There's a shield right there. They can put that up around there because ready to go Kevlar now. Vest on, the vest is only going to protect your chest. Doesn't protect your head and your face, your neck, which are all kill zones. But they get one of those spots right there. Got it on the left and the right of it. Walk right down in there, right in the cat classroom, and engage that guy and extinguish the threat. Right, I mean, I, part of me is even more emotional. Like, I don't even, F, F the, the shield. There's kids in there, they're injured. We gotta get I them get out it. immediately. You say that, but you know, he, you, he's just gonna stack the cops up. You need a shield to stop the gunfire from hitting you in the face. So you're, and so your argument, okay, even if we waited this long, they've retreated. It's at this point, all this time wasted. Once they had that shield, there's no excuse to delay any hallway. further. Go right in there and get him. And look at, I watched this earlier. Most of the guys that ran down the hall first didn't even have the shield. It's the guys true. with the shields were in the back. Totally ridiculous. And now they got a hundred shields and they're all just waiting around. They're now they're sanitizing hands and walking around. And what's guys. so depressing is this, I believe this is the father of the wife, and we're gonna get there in a minute, who was trying to get in there and they're holding him back, as you can see there. He's he's dying to get in there and take a take a shot, but no, and then we're still waiting, waiting, waiting. And then this guy's holding never telling uh, no rhyme or reason. And then I guess at that point they did. Shooter. What's so when frustrating is they then, that John, they break it down. Event 77 minutes later, they break it down. Unacceptable. And, and then take the shot. What, what what on earth took so long? Anybody who's like, well, Andy, they got to wait and they got to, you know, figure it out. They could make more damage. Well, they waited 77 minutes and more kids died because they were injured in that room because they didn't get in sooner. So what, what are we waiting on? And then when they got in, bang, 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 it's over. They could have done that like half hour sooner. On. As soon as there was a shield there, they should have made entry. Boom. So at I the mean, very least, you you you. This is multiple departments. I see sheriff's vests. I see police vests. There must have been FBI. These people in the green police vests seem like they're they're different. How how many I mean, agencies do you think now are on the scene? As I don't know what's operating? in that agent. What's in that area? But I guarantee you, there's no FBI there. They didn't respond that quick. So when we watch this and you, you, cause you're at your instinct is okay. 
if anything, they should have just waited for the shield. And then they There's could have There's right there. Right. Advance right. Get right down the hallway. Two guys behind that shield and take care of business. That's the protocol. Just, just get and and, yeah. and you're right. Most of these people probably have that shield in their car. They should have arrived when there's a shooter on site. You'd think you'd arrive with a shield, no? You got another shield sitting on the other side of the hallway. It's just standing there. What good is that thing? Pick it up and get behind it and let's go. Or don't be a cop. If 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 the, if you, this situation is too scary for you, then turn in your badge and your gun and go 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 to Home Depot and work. Do something else. Do not be a cop. So you got all this situation, and so I, just so we're clear, I, I want to make we had two heroes that could have saved this whole the whole day. We had an officer who tried to take him out before it even happened, denied because they weren't paying attention. I mean, this is unacceptable, correct? <laughs> I mean, what did he? He needs permission, I guess, but shouldn't they have been on more on top of this as soon as this alert came out? You don't need permission to stop a threat. So That's I what actually I'm did have a, I had a personal experience with something very similar to this as a young cop. And uh, I allowed a guy to get into a neighborhood that I didn't see armed, but, you know, he was a danger and a threat to society. And uh, I didn't shoot at him as he bailed out of his moving car and scaled an eight foot wall into a residential subdivision. They said I should have shot him regardless of what he had and not let him into the subdivision. We did end up catching him, apprehended him. No one got further injured. And, uh, He's still in that prison today, and that happened in 1992. Right, but that's sort of a problem, right? That's a, that's a, that's a, that is a tough part that cops do face, I will acknowledge. Do you take the shot, right? I guess that's the question. Does, if he, It depends what he knows in that point, right? Do, is this well, the I guy? Mean, this he, guy? He doesn't want to shoot a kid in the school. Well, first of all, they saw a guy with a gun, second, and on a school campus. And then thirdly, he already shot at the guys that came up to him when he wrecked his car. I mean... He's already proven. Not only do I have a gun, but I am a danger to you guys. I will shoot you. Yeah, I and mean, then, it's true. You're right, because the police allow officer... allow him into a school? Give police a officer break. with the rifle spotted the gunman outside Rob Elementary, was ready to fire. He asked for permission to take the shot, you but his supervisor need, did not. Yeah, ask for permission, you're right. I don't he, know who wrote that policy. That's ridiculous. If you see a, 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 a gunman in a schoolyard that's not a police officer, take the shot. Well, even, <laughs> even right here in the county that we're in, there are several agencies here and they have different policies. I know one agency, if they unholster their gun for anything, they could be on an alarm call. They have to unholster it, they have to write a report on that. I mean, give me a break. If, if there's an alarm call going off and a potential burglar there, my gun's already gonna be out in my hand, in front of me, ready to engage the threat. I'm not gonna waste another fraction of a second for a guy to, to shoot me first, no. And then further, so the, the, the hero I'm really referring to is Officer Ruiz here who attempted to storm the school after his wife, Eva, called him telling she had been shot. That's the person you can see being held back by the officers. He was ready just to go in and do it. Now, I mean, to how, how re I, I, I'm reacting emotionally. I wanted to bring you on because you can ground me a bit of like, okay, here we have an officer who's ready to go. His wife's in there. He doesn't want to wait. He's like, I'll take the shot. Where Where are they? Like, should he be detained? Should he been able to go down there and take take care of business? What is your reaction to this? I mean, it's different. I mean, because if it, I can only tell you what I would do, you know, if I were that guy, I doubt they would have held me back to go in there and pr try to protect my wife. I don't. I really don't care. Fire me. Do whatever. It doesn't matter. But you can see that n what, what's sad about this whole response is nobody did anything. Right. Nobody engaged the threat. They all ran from it and hid in the safety of the walls that were down the hallway. It, it was a cowardly response. Well, not only that, but they took his gun away, that he was detained and escorted off the scene. Well, it's because he was emotional. I get that. He's emotional. But somebody else should have done something. They did nothing. <sighs> yeah, and at that point, when you're watching everybody do nothing, there is a part of you that's like, I don't care, fire me. Um and uh, again, all these people held back. Opportun nobody, nobody was able to step up. No, it's still unclear who was in charge. Everyone's blaming this chief of police, uh, who clearly was was involved. Uh, but uh, where does the where does the la blame lie to you? Like, do all these officers and these uh, the, these agencies uh, should they all be held accountable? How, how how do you how do we find justice here, John? Well, I tell you, well, you're you're not. Unfortunately, 
the only justice you get is the fact that the shooter himself is is no longer with us. But, you know, moving forward for something like this, this stuff has got to be, a, unfortunately, it's an example for the rest of them. This cannot happen again. You right. know, you've got, these cops have got to have been trained to, especially to advance on an active shooter immediately. You, you don't wait for the SWAT team. You don't wait for, you know, the best of everybody to get there. You've got to go down and engage him. Because look at how many people got killed, 21. And, you know, we heard the uh, live audio of this. And I, I, I'm going to assure you, half of those people, I think, would have been saved. And they went down and engaged them. Well, yeah, between the, the, the people who were obviously shot at later, but also just the injuries. There were several injuries that, of people who died because they didn't get to them fast enough. Uh, and, and as you watch this video, it's, it's unnerving just to see. Again, we, we didn't even finish, but still... Still, they're all there. Like, what what on earth are they waiting for? And you said it. They got the shields. And there you and go. The thing, they're even going yeah, down without the shields. They're like, all right, well, I guess right. we don't even need the shields. Four guys go down the hallway without a shield. It's ridiculous. Hey, if you can do it now without the shield, why couldn't you an hour ago? Exactly. Well, that's where I'm at. Of like, I wouldn't have even waited for the shield. I'm sorry. I, I, my, well, to me, there's a duty there of, like, when, when it's kids, especially, and, they're, <laughs> and the clock is ticking... Well, let's, Andy, so let's just be real. You don't have a shield. You walk in there. He executes you. And you're, you stack up at the doorway. You're not really doing much help if you can't effectively engage him. And you. Well, I'm assuming in my scenario that, that I'm a badass with my gun, well, like, you know, Steven Seagal's, and I'm taking him out. You know, that's what I'm you imagining. You say that, but I could. Uh, my money would have, unfortunately would have been on the shooter in this deal. He didn't he seem that good. He, he was just aiming. Like who knows if he was even an expert. Well, you know he. I, um, you know I don't know all the de details, but he was probably taking a lot of headshots. <sighs> I know this is this is um, this is not something you can stomach. And law enforcement, these guys themselves have to realize what they did was wrong. Right. And then and you had a, you did have a more honest reaction to this, which is you said, well, this is just someone being nervous, not sure what to do. Because here he is during the, while we're he waiting, is, he's gathering he hand sanitizer. About his hands. That's, that's just a nervous reaction because you don't know what he's doing. Those guys do not know what they're doing. Right. It's telling more. Just they're like waiting for some, stalling. unfortunately, they're waiting, they're waiting for somebody to tell them what to do. <sighs> Uh, all right, I have other people here I want to bring in now. We have Steph the Alternator joined us and my good buddy and uh, gun owner, Kevin uh, Bruick. What's up, guys? Welcome to the show. What's going on? I haven't, hey, I haven't seen you in forever, Kevin. So happy to have you. Wish it was it's, on a, it's been a minute. I wish it was better circumstances, but Kevin is an old, old, old pal of mine. Love him to death, uh, and I hope we can get you more often here. But I, I know you, you know your guns well. And uh, I want to come to you first and sort of your reaction, because I know you're as equally frustrated as me, because even though you're a gun owner, you are all about, you know, proper gun use and training and all these yeah. things and safety. Uh, what is your reaction when you see this footage of these officers waiting 77 minutes? I mean, I guess my initial reaction would be just pure unadulterated anger at, at just at, at what you at what you're seeing. And not to mention the fact that you can hear in the background, like shots being fired, kids screaming, and they're just sitting there uh, with their thumbs up their ass. It's, it's frustrating. Part of me, I guess part of me understands that, like, I would understand if there were the, the first or second cops that were on scene and they had nothing but their service pistol going up against somebody with an AR-15 with who knows how many rounds of ammunition that's a scary thought. But then the fact that you see all these guys in the hallway, they're all rocking air 15s. They got ballistic shields that can stop a 5.56 round. Like they have all the tools to do it and it's, and they know it's one person. And yet they all just seem to sit there and, and want to do the hand sanitizer and everything else. It's just, do you it's agree? Shameful. Do you agree with John's? I mean, he, John sort of take and uh, uh, he's had a lot of experience, obviously, in the force and stuff. But he's like, once those shields show up, it's it's game over. There's no reason to wait. Uh, my what? attitude is, I don't care. I, if, if there's kids in that room, I'm gonna try and take the shot and see if I can get them out. Maybe I get shot too. But 
at this but point. It's, it's not even, it's not even so much that like one, one of the biggest problems I have is like, I had a, I had a friend who was a law enforcement officer uh, in Orlando. He was, he worked with the orange County Sheriff's department. He was, he was a sheriff's deputy for almost seven years. And he told me how, you know, after Columbine police tactics changed. And so that nowadays, if, if there's any type of shooting, whether it's a school shooting or a shooting at a workplace, you know, some disgruntled ex-employee, if, if the call comes out that there's a, you know, an active shooter situation, first officers on scene, it's search and destroy. And you're supposed to, you know, mount up, you know, if you, if you're, if your squad car has an 870 Remington shotgun or an AR-15, whatever, you take what you got, you go in and you try to neutralize the target as quickly as possible. As far as I know, that's what officers across the country are taught. But apparently, you know, the, this group of meal team six uh, did not get that memo. Well, unfortunately. I mean, that's a good question for you, John. Like what is, cause I've been hearing conflicting reports on like what the training is. Cause there's other people saying the training for the officers is to protect themselves. But then I've also heard what Kevin said. No, when you go in instances like this, it's shoot to go get it. You got to take the, the threat down. What do you, what are your, what is typically your experience or what do you think some of the training here that maybe was conflicting? Well, the cop is not supposed to be so foolish as to run down there and get, get himself shot. But like you said, there's plenty of equipment. They had AR 15s. That guy's got one right there. They've got yeah. body armor. And then when the shield gets there, that's it. Get your ass down there, engage the threat and extinguish him. Period. This yeah, nonsense yeah. about, Oh yeah, you're going to protect yourself. But again, being a cop here, here's a little news flash. It's a dangerous uh, job. And if you don't like it, don't sign up for it. If you're not going to, in this situation, get down the hallway and extinguish that guy, then don't come. And, and you know, I don't know what the policy is with this agency. If they have to have permission to engage an, an armed suspect, that's BS. That, that agency ought not be in existence. Just turn your stuff over to somebody that's going to handle it, whether it's the state police or the next county over. Do yeah. you feel like enough? Oh, God, sorry, Kevin. I don't have a question, but go ahead, Kevin. No, I was going to say, and then there's like that video of the guy checking his phone, and he's and he's got the Punisher logo on his phone, which, I, I'm sorry, if you have Did the Punisher really? logo, yeah, yeah, he had like the, oh he had the American flag Punisher, and, and I think Punisher. we can all agree, if you have the Punisher flag logo on your phone or the sticker on the back of your car, that's the easiest way to check, uh, to see someone that's peaked in high school. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're pretty spotted. much i missed that i gotta on. find that uh i want to oh, get yeah. i want to get kim and stefan get your thoughts but real quick john do you feel like there is a lack of proper training that these officers uh, clearly had is that is that part clearly, of the problem here clearly i mean you had the whole school full of cops and nobody was doing anything um for over an hour it's now, now, that's not true. Apparently, reports are coming out that some of them did update their Twitter profiles and they checked their Instagram. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sure they did. So, so, yeah, I mean. They didn't do what they were called to do. They, they, didn't they do had a lot going on. Yeah. Well. Yeah, someone's got to put those Punisher logos on. I, I, I don't want to make jokes of it, but it, it's, it's no, it, that's I mean, what it's, they were it, doing. It's like, it's this is insane it, that that was the priorities of checking their there phones. Was a failure, there was a failure at every single level. And, and I'll, give you another, I'll give you another example, although it was... It was much different, but still the same outcome. The, the, you know, nobody talks about the Las Vegas shooter um, and how the Las Vegas shooter, when he was shooting up that crowd at the, uh, the country fair, and I think it was like 60 people died. Um, Vegas PD, once they, they knew where he was at the MGM Grand, they were right down the hall from him. But the shooter had actually set up GoPros in the hallway. So he knew as soon as the cops were there, and apparently he was shooting through the walls because, you know, if, if you have an AR-15 that's either chambered in 5.56 or 308, you know, you ask anybody that knows guns, that can punch through drywall. That'll that'll punch through a lot of uh, walls. And so the Las Vegas police, as soon as they tried to kind of go down the hallway, the shooter was uh, engaging them literally through the wall. But at the same point, it's time to mount up, not up right. or shut up. You know, like you, you can't have it both ways and claim we've got the toughest job in the world. And it is like being a police officer is one of the most dangerous, most thankless jobs you can have. Like there's uh, there's not a debate about that, but you can't sit here and claim to be, you, you know, this 
you know, tough guy. And then when you're called to action, you just, you wilt like a flower. It's complete BS. Well, yeah, I mean, there's like a, and John, it's like, there's a little bit of like a, the momentum is lost as they, you know, suddenly fall back and have to reevaluate a plan. Whereas, okay, we're going in we, we got to check. We're all right. There we're engaged and we're, we're engaged back uh, at a certain point. I guess it's, it is, you bring a good point, Kevin, because you can't, you, you can't win when you're a cop. If you go in and yeah. someone else is killed, oh, you went in too soon. If you go in too late, oh, you didn't go in soon enough. And some, it's like people will always find an excuse to yell at officers. It, it is a sad reality of the job. Uh, however, I think in this instance, plenty of reasons to why we can be upset at these officers and they're failed to, to get together. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, other thoughts uh, from you, John, before I go to the rest of the panel and we, we will move on from it. But uh, other takeaways that you think people should be paying attention to here? I mean, you know, we we have the benefit of seeing the the overview of it all. I mean, there was breakdowns everywhere. They allowed the guy to get out of the car, come onto the campus, enter the school, shoot up everybody. When law enforcement did have a very big presence there, they failed to act. They they retreated themselves and came back there and basically hid out, waiting for their daddy to come tell them what to do. It's it, it's, it's ridiculous. It's unacceptable. There's a lack of training. There's a lack of willpower on the cops to engage the threat, which that, that I guess that's human nature. But again, you signed up for this and you've got all the tools. Let's take care of business. And well, they, yeah, and if, if you guys not, talked about the police officer that had him in his sights. Yes. And, and he, did, you know, and it's like, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I'm certainly not a law enforcement officer, but I would think if I was, and I saw a guy dressed up like, you know, the manager of a Hot Topic carrying an AR-15 walking he, dude, into no, school. He looked school. like the Winter Soldier walking into that school. Like, totally. He really did. Like, I, I don't need to call my boss to see if I can engage. Like, Facts. you know, give me a break. Like, if you're a cop and you're like, hey, I just saw four guys with ski masks go into that Bank of America. Like, Should, I wonder do, what Do I have doing. your permission, sir? Do I have your permission, sir? Yeah. I, I, exactly. Like, and I don't, I don't want to give this guy the attention. But, yeah, I mean, literally, it looks like the Winter Soldier walking in. Oh, yeah, of course yeah. you take this guy out. Shoot for the legs, whatever you got to do. But just, just yeah. The, yeah, anybody who's walking through, if it's no, fake it's or whatever it is, what are they doing walking in the back of a school without alerting somebody else? Yes, sorry, take them down. That, that's just not okay. And, and not to mention, if you look at a lot of mass shootings, so many of these shooters, as soon as they're engaged by law enforcement or, you know, like a, a good guy with a gun, as soon as they are engaged by somebody, another armed person, more often than not, they they tend to either wilt like a flower or run away. Well, they or kill turn, themselves, turn, or, or they turn the gun on themselves. Exactly, they're not going to be taken alive. Yep. Yeah. Then and again, like, why I think they should have—they didn't need to wait for the shields. They could have gone in there immediately. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cam, Cam and Steph, I want to bring you in the conversation as you react and see this heartbreaking footage that we've been doing and, and the frustrations that are mounting up to uh, what happened here. I'll, I'll go to you first, Kim. What, what, are, what are your thoughts? I have so many questions as much as I think everybody else does. Um, to start, like I have questions just with the school response, to be honest with you. I don't understand how he was just able to walk in. I don't understand how if they were all in lockdown and were aware of this situation that there was that little boy walking down that hallway with an active shooter walking through the halls. There's just, there's so many mis piece and the thing is i honestly feel like when you look at the cop response when you look at the school response people don't know what they're doing they don't know what they're doing and i think at the end of the day regardless of where you stand politically or whatever your opinions are our kids deserve better than this and we're the grown-ups and we're supposed to be protecting them and you had a whole group of guys with weapons all standing there doing nothing for an hour. I don't really care who's supposed to be giving like the, you know, okay, you're all clear to shoot or whatever. Like uh, there comes a point where it's like, okay, if someone's not leading, somebody else needs to stand up. Let's go. And I don't understand why that didn't happen when you have a group of people who have taken a job that their job at the end of the day is in some cases to lay down their life for other people. And I didn't see an ounce of that bravery on that tape. And when you had parents outside that were being detained 
I've heard reports that some of them were tasered because they wanted to run in and take care of their kids. Like, what is wrong? Like, how what is sad, wrong with how us? How sad is that? I know. That, that you know, that, that a 40-year-old woman who's completely unarmed has, I'm sorry, but for lack of a better word, has more balls than the uh-huh. Uvalde Police Department because she wants to get her kids. It's, it's a catastrophic failure at every single level. Yep. Like, and, and if, I mean, if, if I was... You know, I, I don't even know how this works, but if I was the mayor of that town, I mean, heads would be rolling. I, I would completely dissolve that police department. Yeah. At least at least the officers that were on scene and, and had their little hour long powwow, all of you, you're gone. Like, good luck getting another job in law enforcement. Um, it's it's just, yeah, like you said, they, they, they failed the students yeah. of that school. Steph, and what I'm you, sorry. What you, oh, go ahead, Kim, go, and then Steph will go to you. I was going to say, like, it's cruel of me to say, I don't like to say stuff like this very often at all, but it's like, there is no amount of hand sanitizer that's going to clean the blood off your hands for the cowardness from the absolute pathetic response that that was. It's just gross. It's gross. Who did you just come up with that on your own, Kim? That was fire. <laughs> That no, was, it's just it's that, so no, stupid. No, but I was like, though. damn, it gave me chills. There is no amount of hand sanitizer. It's so it is stupid. so my god. Could have said it better myself. It is infuriating. I, I, I get it. John's right. He's probably just ner- I, What do I do? Oh, okay, I'm, this is out of habit. I'm just gonna do this waiting. But the fact that we were just that they're just waiting. There was no need for them to just be waiting. The fact that no, no one stood up and like I'm in charge. Who's in charge? Yeah. We're waiting. What's taking so long? Sorry, like somebody had to have the guts to do it, and nobody did. It's 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 sickening. Steph, I want to get your thoughts. I'm angry and a apoplectic. Like it's it, it, how could this happen? You talk about a pathetic response. It was no response. That's the. Uh, that to, to me there was no response they literally stood there where feet away children were getting uh, i'm sorry to have to kind of water down the language but it's youtube here unalived by a madman with an ar-15 was it an ar-15 if what i read yeah yeah an ar-15 that's no joke like what the frick you are standing there police officers are standing there Whilst kids, elementary kids, children, feet away from them, are being unalived. I, I, I cannot fathom that. And I, ju- I just think you're looking on your freaking Facebook and your Instagram while children down the hall are being unalived. You're wiping your hands with freaking uh, sanitizer whilst children are being unalived. You sat there with your thumb up your freaking backside whilst children down the hall are being unalived. I do not understand it. Now, I get what Mr. Hubbard said earlier on. The first two that are on the scene, they're going to wait. And everyone's going to wait until there's someone that's got a protective shield or something that's protective so that they can start uh, the, the, the assault and to extinguish uh, the, the monster. Okay, so the first couple that are going to go on to the scene, not going to do much until they've got proper backup. I get that. But she's the freaking bed. They're armoured up. They're protected. They've got the helmets. They've got the armour. They've got the implements needed to take this monster out. And they're waiting 77 minutes. Whilst during that time, children are being unalived. And they think it's the best idea in the whole damn freaking world to sanitize their damn hands, check on their phones, on their Instagram, social medias and whatever whilst children were being unalive. Are you freaking kidding me? I sadly believe Mr. Hubbard when he turns around and says, no, it'll be done with these officers. Nothing will be done. Heads, I don't think will roll. They'll just get away with it because there'll be an excuse or the union will get involved and they'll, the jobs will be saved, this, that and the other. Freaking politics. 
But damn, if I were mayor, heads roll. Every single one of you, apart from the first couple that were on the scene, because I can understand that, every single one of you mofos that came into that school afterwards and stood there with your thumb up your backside, fired the whole lot of you. If I was in that town right now, that city, I would be absolutely scared shizzless because the police are supposed to be there to protect you. And they and they're not doing that. They're not even protecting little children whilst that monster's around. I, I, this is insane. And especially when, um, I don't mean any disrespect, Mr. Hubbard, but from what I've seen in the media, police can be very trigger happy in certain situations. Gung ho and all that lot. Here, there was the opportunity to take out a monster. Do it. Go for it. And they did nothing for 77 minutes. I, I'm, it's, it's baffling. It's baffling. It's baffling. And, and I do want to add, because, I again, we're, I'm, I've been following, but not as closely. I'm, I'm getting more into the story as, it's, as, obviously, this footage has now opened my eyes to it. But there are some comments, and I'm trying to verify it. Just a couple potential corrections. They were on their phones, allegedly, because the walkies weren't working. Their walkies were out. I don't know if any – Kevin, you heard about this. Anybody, but that that's one justification. Again, no, I, I, heard, I heard one of the, the – the, the first officer to respond, like, didn't have his walkie, walkie on him or something. Um, I yeah. remember reading something about that. And I'm like, well, first of all, why don't you have your gear on you? Correct. <laughs> and um, it sounds like an excuse, but – and, and Yeah, and then I remember they were talking about, like, there was – the door was locked. The door was locked. There's specific shotgun rounds, um, and, and maybe your, your law enforcement, he could uh, tell me what, what they're called, but there's specific shotgun rounds that are meant to, like, you point it point blank at a deadbolt, and that deadbolt's gone. Um, so it's like, I don't know why they're sitting there saying, we couldn't find the keys. The it's like, shoot the door off the right. hinges. You got plenty of weapons. Like Somebody showed up with a battering ram. Like, yeah, battering rams. I mean, like, there's there's a million things they could have done. And again, I, you know, I know it sounds like we're Monday morning quarterbacking. But it's like, my God! No, you, it's 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 an important thing to be. Yeah, a plethora of on. breaching tools. Use them, like God. There was also reports that they uh, were told he was oh. uh, he was uh, put into a room without anybody in it. That that's what they're being told. Oh, someone reported that. Oh, we were confirmed that he was pushed into another room, and there aren't any kids in the room. We're waiting to get him. That again, all part of the pet. Right or, whether that's true or not, again, all still part of the miscommunication that this department did. That to me was still clear failure. Uh, and then apparently they were given the wrong room number that they were in when they tried to. Do, the, it, uh, unclear. Well, we're waiting for the full report. And it doesn't to matter. Break you it can down. hear the gunfire. But exactly, like none of it matters yeah. to me. It still all was took too long. Uh, I see some excuses, sort of like in the chats. It, it doesn't matter. It's still it's still way too many excuses. Yeah, Air 15s are loud as hell. Yeah, I mean, mm. and, and especially in an enclosed space, it would not take long to find out exactly where that shooter was. And they knew where he was. They knew where he was. That's why they ran from it. Yeah. Right. Good point. <laughs> the the yeah. officers who got shot at clearly knew where he was. Oh, yeah. Despicable. He didn't, he didn't, he wasn't rocking a 22 that had a, you know, a, a baffle, a silencer on it. Like you, you could, you could hear where it was coming from. What is your solution, Maybe, Kevin? What do, what do, what do we do moving you know, forward? I think there's a lot of things you could do. Um, a perfect example. Like I don't know what I don't know exactly how long it takes to become a like a certified law enforcement officer. I want to say it's like twelve weeks, uh, or something like that. Of like you know of intense training over a year. How long? Four to six months of an academy before you. Okay, you know, four, four to six months of being in the academy b before you can become a law. And over in Europe, I believe it's well over a year. They get over a year of training. Um, before they, they can become police officers. So for me, Cut. maybe it becomes a thing of, of you know, more training. Maybe you need to add a month of, here's something we could seriously think about doing in terms of changing law enforcement curriculum. What if we added an additional month of training and it was strictly for like workplace and school type shootings? Because unfortunately this is, you know, it's, an, it's, a, it's a new reality in America. But, so this is what I would say right there, America better wake up because if you call law enforcement because you need them. So a matter of fact, I dialed 911 myself for an incident this past week and I basically got a busy thing so said operators are busy. Please well, hold I, and you'll be 
your call be answered in the order it was received. Yep. I say you better arm yourself. You better be ready to protect yourself. As they're coming, absolutely, they're not going to they're they're not going to do anything. They're going to hide and make sure they don't get hurt. Meanwhile, it's better, it's better to have a gun family. and not need it than need a gun and not have it. Yeah. Well, I mean, not everyone agrees with that. I, I, I'm still torn. It's like in the world we're living in, it does feel like the gun companies have created this market where now everyone needs more, more, more. And I look, I, he, I understand where you're coming from. Don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking it. It's sadly, it's like who wants to be a cop anymore either, right? Cops can get can can win nothing. They're not. We don't have enough good ones to save everybody. And then we're criticizing and wanting to ban all police. It's like, well, hello, you need them when you need them. Uh, it's a mess. And and sadly, yeah. I mean, it seems like that solution is the way. But I don't want to get into the whole gun control everything else issue. It right. does seem like there, whether that's the right way or not, it still feels like why can't we still like all right? Can gun owners also take a training course? Like I gotta take the DM, go to the DMV to get my license. Like could, wouldn't it be nice to at least actually educate these people how to properly have safety and you know how to use them in in times of crisis? Like I I do feel like there's a lot of stuff that could be done that would help right now to at least show some effort and i feel like we get nothing and that's to me what's the right. most frustrating thing about it all is we it's it becomes political which i don't want to debate about here the chat or anywhere but it becomes political and then nothing gets done and that's the most irritating about this how, how many schools do we have to watch this happen to before that happens and honestly i do believe there should be they should be armed security at every school absolutely i don't know if we should outfit all the teachers because they're not going to know how to damn use them but my god there absolutely should be armed uh, security officers at every school i know my son's school does it makes me feel better thank god it, 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 I, I i'm not all for all the guns but I'll be honest. When I saw the, the security at my son's school, elementary school, had one, I was like, "Okay, <laughs> it, it did. It gave you know, it gave me more confidence. Like, all right, well, if something goes wrong, there's yeah, at least somebody better, there. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's a mess. Uh, sorry, you wanted to say something, Kevin? No, no, no. I, I just think that yeah, if you were to train police like better in terms of them having to, you know, do like active shooter drills, more of that stuff in the academy. Yep. Um, you know, I think that would be a good start. Uh, but the the one thing that I'm hoping, I'm hoping one of the big takeaways from all this is the next time this happens, I'm hoping that there's not another police department somewhere in Vermont or Nevada or wherever where they're like, hey, let's not be the next Uvalde police department, become the laughing stock of the world. Let's, you know, let's mount up and let's let's stop this threat. Because what we're seeing here, you know, with the hand sanitizing and the, you know, the, the checking their phones, ugh, it's, it's not a good look. Going back around, uh, John, any other final thoughts on this? Well, I, I think there's a few things. Number one, training to me is the biggest, biggest ordeal here. Two is equipment. I mean, they can afford all the body armor and everything else. I'm willing to bet that majority of the law enforcement in the town here where I live Every cop's got a shield in the back of his car, a, a ballistic shield. And then number three, policies. I mean, you who needs permission to engage a threat? I mean, you got that when you took your oath. Okay, that's what your oath was, to serve and protect. And so if there's policies for that, and of course, there's a whole lot of other things that specifically happen bad at this scene. But training, equipment, and policies to me is is really where, where the rubber meets the road. And then you got to have... Uh, law enforcement people that are are not cowards, and to me, I'm sorry, that was a cowardly response. Would you just fire them all? Like, how, then what? How do you... I, I, you you know you got to look at you got to look at a lot of things. We only saw you sent me two videos. They they were horrible. Seems like the only time I could really come on the shows when things went bad. <laughs> but you know, yeah, these guys. Um, I, I didn't see a good response from anybody there, but there had to be somebody on that scene that was taking charge. And he's typically the highest ranking person there. And uh, from what we saw, it, it failed. So to me, yeah, he shouldn't have his job. A lot of people shouldn't have had their job and they shouldn't be in law enforcement. Oh, harder to get harder and harder to get people in law enforcement. That's for damn sure. Um, sorry, I'm going to clip it. A good place to clip there. But th this, this story just, I, I can't even begin to fathom how frustrated I'm just, I'm so beyond frustrated that this officer, 
the more I think about it, I'm like, yeah, well, he had a gun. Because I'm a person I'm like, well, maybe he didn't see the gun or maybe he didn't know. But it says very clearly he saw the gunman entering and the gun, he had a, 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 a rifle with him. Like, how do you how do you not take that shot that could have prevented all of this? And yeah. the officer waited for approval. I mean, this is sickening to me. This is sickening. I, I can't even process it. Yeah. Waiting for Shame. approval from his boss. Well, should I take the shot, sir? I mean, my God. I, if he saw a guy with a gun on the campus and chose not to take it, I, I wouldn't want to be that guy because, my God, talk about blood on your hands. That That is just unbelievable. What a mistake. What a mistake. It, it, At the same time, though, like, if that's the policy, like, that's ridiculous. Yeah. How do you do your job when you have policies around you like that? Well, fuck the policy at that point. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry. Like, this guy would have been a hero. This guy would have been a hero. No policy would have put him away or affected him that if he had stopped an active shooter for, with who was armed walking into a school. I'm sorry. It was worth the shot. Now this guy's going to have to live with that guilt of knowing that those 19 kids don't get to go back home to their families. I'd rather take the shot and be wrong and, than, than risk what could have, what actually happened. You know what I mean? So yeah. f fuck the policy at this point. Officers, as you said, Kevin, need to grow, grow a pair and realize this is bigger than a policy when there's a gunman clearly armed walking in the back door of a school. Yeah. The guy looks like, you know, a, ro a roadie for Trent Reznor. He's carrying, you know, a bag in his AR-15. It's like, he doesn't look like a teacher. That's not a foreign exchange student. That's, you know, come on. Like, it's just, it's, it's maddening when you when you get a front row seat to just so much incredible fail. It's it's frustrating. And yes, John, we'll have to bring you to one of our feel good Friday episodes, clearly. <laughs> no noted. Not uh, complaining. You you have to join our Florida Man episode. We're yes! gonna Florida Man Fridays, because you're a fellow Florida man where we react hey, to right here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's Kevin's family's out there too. Uh, Go Gators. I'm telling you, move out, man. You've you've been delaying just become the Florida man. I tell you, it's, it was, it ended up being pretty good for me. Uh but yeah, we'll have to bring you back to the Florida man to try and give you some lighthearted stories there because yeah, we do sadly bring on John for some of the worst okay. topics. Uh, but I appreciate your insight on this. It, it is so tragic, and I think you're spot on with what we need to do. I appreciate it. Uh, I, I don't want to keep more of your time for the day. I, I thank you for coming in here. Anything else you want to offer or, or, or say we can plug? Should we plug uh, your YouTube, or do you have anything else you got going on? You know, I'm so busy. I wish I had a tech guy that could do my... I give him the material. He makes the stuff. I don't have that. You know, it's just. Yeah, no, I, it's it's a job. YouTube is. Everyone's like, I'm going to do a YouTube channel. OK, <laughs> well, I will have tell fun. you, for those who don't know, <laughs> you you made my uh, channel success in 10 minutes. 10 minutes, Andy. <laughs> Ten minutes. Boom. He became Anybody a... who thinks they got that, they yeah. better they better wake up. Uh, yeah, and you you had a couple, uh, uh, but yeah, if you want to, eventually someday, as more things happen, Hubbard Investigates is there. And yeah, if anybody wants to help produce uh, John, uh, reach out to him. You can go to Hubbard Investigations. Is it dot com? It is. I actually got a call last week from a female, and uh, you know, it was an out of state number, and I'm always a little bit cautious about answering them. And you know, I'm trying to vet it. They're asking for me by name. I'm like, well, what do you need him for? And this and that. She goes. Well, I know it's you, John, because I recognize your voice. I go, and I didn't know who it was. She goes, yeah, I, I watched you on Popcorn Planet, so I know it was you. It's like, okay. You're like, oh, damn yeah, it. Damn it, Andy, give me all these uh, uh, referrals. I hope they I hope they pay at least. Yeah, please, if you want a consultation, uh, but you got to pay a man. He is, he is his job. He is a professional investigator, uh, and uh, he helped us during the Gabby Patillo case. And, yeah, I might be activating him again. We have something else brewing. I'll let you know if we need your resources again. Uh, but I always appreciate John when he can come on. And if you need help with anything, reach out. He's the best, John. Always a pleasure to have you here. Enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Mr. Herbert. Thank you. Thanks, John. Always a pleasure to bring him in uh, and uh, get his insight because he doesn't mess around. He doesn't mess around. He, he's no nonsense, that John Hubbard. That's what I love about him. He'll just... Nope. Nope. Uh, well, welcome to the chat. I, I want to try to... <sighs> exhale everybody we got a show to do we got other topics we're going to go through i thought that was very important for us to make sure we broke broke down because it really bothered me this morning and yes i know i know i know the woman's all of her emotions have been dismissed are you surprised 
What else is there to say? (laughs) We could stream for an hour and talk about it and just keep repeating ourselves about it. Guys, come on. It's time. It's time to move on. It's time to get going. And now if she does something new, okay, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll all uh, (laughs) get crazy over it. But this news today, which I'm, again, I'm not saying her name today. We're not doing it as part of our story. I'm just acknowledging. Yes, we know all of her motions were denied. All I will say is duh. Duh. We knew it. We've already told we that's old news. It's old news. Not surprised. Don't care. She's not she's done. Out of it. So in other news, water's wet. Exactly. Wow. Uh, Hi, Felicia. Who knew? So there you go. Are you are you again, we're not saying her name, Kevin. But are you getting yeah. sick of hearing that name uh, all over the the, the, the uh, internet? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Because like. I know you you were you were stum- I know you were following along a bit as we were doing it, and you you were paying attention. You don't like it's you don't like, like her, but my god, fourteen fifty nine. That's fifteen minutes is almost up. <laughs> I, she wants the attention. We're not. I'm trying not to give it to her. If something new happens, we will let you know. But today is this isn't breaking news. Yes, good I'm news. Looking, I'm looking forward to the the future popcorn planet where we talk about how she's the newest contestant on Dancing with the Stars in a year. Or two. Oh God, you oh. think is that that's a good one? Uh, <laughs> that or the mass singer? Awesome. The mass I'm, I'm picturing her. I'm picturing her agent. It's a great way to rehab your image. Everybody watches the show. It's What's like, a good song? Yeah. What's a good song for her to do on the Masked Singer, guys? Chat. I want you to submit. <laughs> what would that woman's uh, ultimate song where she tries to uh, get him? Uh, disgusting song. What he do? Oh my God! Can you imagine the? Or, or she, yeah, I'm trying to think of like what's a lying thing? Stripes. I don't know. She'd do something crazy. But enough. We're not talking about her. We're moving on. We're talking about other things. In fact, I have to find some other things to talk about and read some of your chats. Uh, but let me, before we start, I want to introduce Kevin a bit more because Kevin and I go way back. I love Kevin, and uh, I'd love to get you on when you're available, Kevin, because it's always good to talk to you. Yeah, Kevin's a good. Uh, he's got he's got good thoughts on things. Uh, you also know crypto well. I know you know gun, guns and crypto and uh, and, uh, and, <laughs> and alcohol, man. <laughs> always <laughs> three things any growing boy needs. You know, holy I'm Trinity. <laughs> yeah. uh, holy he doesn't Trinity, mess around. Batman. But right? I, so how do I'm trying? We we met through Danes and Annoying Orange is really because he connected me mm-hmm. to you for a show we were doing. But back in the day, do you guys remember? It's still on the Annoying Orange. Do you guys anybody anybody watching yes. know? Yes. The Annoying I, I, Orange. Well, what? Kevin was a uh, was a regular on that. He's Grandpa Lemon, Kevin? everybody. Yeah. Really? I'm Grandpa Lemon. That's there it right. is. But Grandpa wow. Lemon was a uh, reoccurring character over on the Annoying Orange, which again. But Kevin, a, Kev, a good friend of Kevin's, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge fan. Uh, I used to talk to him more. I know he's a busy guy, but uh, man, he's a, just a force to be reckoned with on this platform, uh, and still crushing it. So glad to see he's still crushing it. Um, but yeah. Dane Bo, uh, Dane uh, does this channel. He did it. How long has it been now? How um, long? What geez, is the we, record? I think that the the first annoying orange he uploaded was in 2008. I want to say 08 or 09. Twelve years. Yeah. Holy moly! Twelve years ago was wow. the annoying orange, and I will—I was gonna say I was gonna play my my claim to fame. I wrote one of the most popular ones, uh, yes. Lady Pasta. Orange, 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 orange. And, and orange, do you orange. want to tell your audience? Whoa, yeah, what? Don't you look fancy? Tell me what. Lady Pasta. Oh, I heard <laughs> you. Tell me something I don't know. So why do you dress like that? Like what? Like a crazy person. (laughs) I am an artist. Why should I be labeled as just spaghetti when I encompass so many other things? I made some macaroni art in camp once. You want to see it? Not really. See? It's a picture of me. That means I'm an artist, too. (laughs) I don't think so. I take my art and music to the extreme. It exudes raw passion and thought. When I sing, it means something. What? Fine, I'll just show you what you I'm ready. Doing. I'm probably gonna get dinged, oh, but okay. No, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> no way, you will get dinged. And I'll get dinged even though I wrote it. It's my song. I'll yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sony, Sony literally, I forget how long. It I don't even want to know how much money Dane made on that song. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, he didn't make anything because Sony Pictures literally put a claim. Oh, did they? Oh, so like... all right, uh, Sony took it. There yeah. it is. Those yeah. bastards. Uh, but yes, yeah. we do a whole. You can do a pasta face. Uh, we do it. I wrote a whole pasta parody because uh, again, my oh, idol wow. growing up was Weird Al Yankovic, so it was my the dream come true to be able to write a song parody to 53 million people. Uh, but there it is. Lady pasta. You can go check it out. But anyway, uh, I met him through Dane. We were, we were friends doing some stuff and I had wrote and written uh, this episode and others, uh, some other stuff I did it anyway back then. But uh, we connected on a show we did. I think it was the GMZ thing is where we first really sort of connected. Yeah, right? yeah that was, I totally remember that. Yeah. With Greg Benson. And yeah. Some it was, other YouTubers. man, the old days of YouTube. And then I would always yeah. just hang out with, when I hang out with Dane, I'd always hang out more with Kevin because Kevin's just the best to go drink with. Everybody loves Kevin. And uh, yeah, every VidCon and everything else, we'd start hanging more and more. And then, uh, yeah, Kevin was a very, very nice and, and, and good friend during my t t uh, tumultuous years. Uh, he stepped up and helped behind the scenes. Uh, one of one of a few who I have to say was really there for me when I when I was really needing help. Um, and so I, 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 you know, I love you, man. You know, I appreciate you, and I, you got love my you back. Too, brother. I got your back always. Uh, but always. Kevin is a really, really good dude, and so happy to have you on here. And yeah, we we. The, the the annoying orange years, man. Tw Can you believe it's been twelve years? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> That's wild. It's, what's even crazier is that like, is that Dane has been able to just maintain this audience because you know most YouTubers they kind of have this arc where it's like they're very popular and then they just kind of seem to whatever fade away. But to be able to consistently have an audience on YouTube for you know any length of time is really. It's uh, it's not easy. Yeah, no, he and he's he's still crushing it. I mean, it, it, he, I know he's had it. We all every YouTube has the ups and downs, but to know he's still raking in hundreds of thousands every day is a huge win. Uh, given how many videos is does it even say? My God, it just nonstop. Yeah, bravo to him. Uh, who would have yeah. thought an annoying an annoying orange pun could create a whole empire? You guys had merchandise. There was a TV show at a oh, certain yeah. point. I got my own toys. It was it was wild. So uh, a good. It's still there. Love supporting him, uh, and uh, always happy to support you. Uh, but yeah, you've been watching now. Are you surprised to see uh, I've I've risen back up, Kevin? Uh, I, you know, I've I, you know, I've I've tell I tell anybody in the industry. I say I have two friends that can start a YouTube channel, and within less than a year, it'll have half a million subscribers. It's you and Philip DeFranco, and you guys are the only two people I know. That can like literally start a channel and then it just it find it gets an audience. You What's guys... amazing is Kevin's told me that story before and I did appreciate that he he's a good hype man. He's always helped have my back. But I I'll be honest, over the past year I didn't think I was gonna do it. And then somehow, <laughs> somehow, and then, over the past month, I Kevin's theory ended up being true. It, Kevin has more confidence than I guess I have in my own self. Uh, but yeah, but, I managed to do it yet again. Uh, so it is a very uh, it, he knows that my history of it's I've done I've done I've done it before, and that's why I was like I can do it I can do it. Am I gonna do it? Right. Is it gonna happen? But we did it, guys, uh, and it's been a massively fun road. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I'm glad. Thank you for believing and being there when I needed it. Uh, because yeah, there wasn't, there wasn't a lot of people who wanted to, to step up and Kevin really stepped up. So I, I, you know, I love you brother. Thank you so much. And I, you got to come yeah. visit, man. We got to do it. I know. Yeah. Down I, to Florida. I, I do. I do want to come sometime this summer down to Florida and I, yeah, I'd love to. Cause yeah, you're only like two hours North. Um, I'm moving. We've got a new studio. It's coming around my birthday, August 15th. So if you're, if you're in near the end of August, oh, no way. even better time would be a perfect time to come crash. Uh, so let me know and we'll make it happen. But, uh, always good to have, and yeah, please, you're all, I'm going to add you to my list. You're always welcome to join in here. I love ch yeah. ch chit chatting with you, but we got other news. We meet Kim and Steph, Steph and Kim, meet Kevin. Uh, he's, he's, nice he's to meet go you, way back. Hey, how's it going? What Hi, other, uh, what other news have we been seeing out there that that's worthy of discussing? Uh, Kim, Steph, have you been seeing anything? Oh, I'm looking, I'm just delaying because I'm looking myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's go through. I was, I was researching all this, you've all these stuff that I didn't get to catch the recent uh oh my god what the hell no i'm not doing any any of the that woman stories i refuse today <laughs> i'm gonna go with Dave without doing it it's not happening uh let's see here yeah i haven't even looked at the news today if there's any... i'm looking uh all right hold on i'm looking through all the headlines well, 
Well, we're, well, you're looking. I mean, the one thing that is happening today, we don't have any news on it yet because it hasn't happened yet, but Britney Spears is having one of her uh, hearings today. And this is going to be the hearing, I believe, that's going to decide if her dad is going to be forced to do a deposition Ooh. in the next seven days because he has evaded deposition up until this point, as well as not producing documents that he has been asked to produce regarding the financials of Shocker. Britney's estate. So we will see how that goes today, but we may be getting a, uh, if things go the way that we think they're going to go, potentially we hope they're going to go. We may have a full deposition from Mr. Spears. All right. Coming. Well, please keep needs that to go on the record. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Please keep, that, uh, keep us posted, but pay attention to the background. If that breaks while we're live, we will actually go yeah. there. If, but I... if I were Brittany, I would be hiring the number one forensic accounting firm. Just like she did. She, she did. Matthew, Matthew just, Rosengart, her lawyer, has hired a uh, a former federal um, forensic accountant, and she yeah. is the one who is overseeing everything right now. Yeah, I mean, if if I were a judge and it were up to me, I, I would, you know, take all of Jamie Spears' money and and make him work at McDonald's the rest of his life. He doesn't have any money, man. <laughs> it's gone. He's, he's not going to after this. That's for it's sure. true because he's probably siphoned off a lot of money that he's probably now spent. And He's now, living in an RV, I think. It's it, living living expensively. It goes by quick. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, he, she's he's he's got to pay for a lot of lawyers right now. So it is, I'm sure, not a not a good time for him. Which you know what, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. He can <laughs> yeah. uh, he can he can live in a ditch for all I care. He made his bed and he's got to live in it. What do you? So here it is. So he is being sued, Elon Musk. The lawsuit I, I was reading. A lot of people are now calling out the lawsuit. We touched upon this a little bit yesterday, but uh, what do you think of this one, Kevin? We he talked was, about this. He was never, look, <laughs> Elon Musk was never going to buy Twitter. No way he was ever going to buy Twitter. It's, and people, are, he's going to buy Twitter and Trump's coming back. No, no, he's no. not. Because do you want to know what billionaires do? Billionaires don't take 20% or whatever it is of your net worth and buy something that has never turned a profit. That's not how you get richer. It's just not. So do you think, well, interesting, because Kevin's theory is saying it was never his intent to buy. He I did it all during the trial against that woman. We're talking about Elon, not about her. Right. Do you think Elon had maybe any ulterior motives there during that trial to maybe like, you know what? All right, let's let's cause some chaos. Um, I mean, that's possible. I, I just think Elon's a professional shit stir when you're the richest guy in the world. Isn't I mean, that so weird? You just, just want just to fuck bored. with everybody? Yeah, yeah I agree. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I, I think that's because here's the other thing, too. I, I think part of it is um, he's what's the word I'm looking for? He's just I mean, besides being a shit stir, like I noticed that he said uh, like a few days before that woman came out um, and said that, you know, he sexually harassed her on an airplane. I think she was a stewardess, like on a private jet. He basically started making these claims, oh, the liberal media is going to start coming after me soon. And then it's like a few days later, that story broke. But I don't think he was ever going to buy Twitter because I think he just wanted to prove to the world that there are a lot of Twitter bots. And now this is his convenient escape to be like, oh, I don't want to buy it because now everybody knows that there's millions and millions of bots. It's like, yeah, we already knew this. But right, which again goes no towards way. defending that other woman uh, who we're not saying her name, Lady Voldemort. Yeah. Uh, it does go against the plan of like maybe that was all the plan because that's what she's been claiming. So uh, interesting. Yeah, he was never gonna buy it. But yeah, no Kim, way. you agree? He's just he's he's just bored. I mean, uh, Kevin and I apparently have something in common of following crypto. Um, <laughs> You, you you watch Elon and, and how it's been last few years. I mean, you, you get a quick, pretty good idea of the way that he operates and what he does. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to get on his newsletter or whatever it is where he can just be like, hey, guys, in 20 minutes, I'm going to yeah. be pumping Dogecoin <laughs> or, you know, I'm going to be I mean, whatever. He's yeah. It's true. I'm going to breathe in 20 minutes and the whole market's going to go nuts. Get ready. He does yeah, seem to I'm, be like doing that. If you're in the know, you, you get to profit a little bit. I thought that was illegal. Yeah. Well, it's, it's like he could it literally is. post a picture of a giraffe. <laughs> he could post a picture on Twitter of a giraffe with nothing else, no other context. And then all of a sudden giraffe coin is up like 900%. Yep. It's like he's, well, he's I mean, promoting Logan, giraffe Logan coin. Logan Paul did that too. Like a lot, it's That's illegal, right? You're not supposed to drink the pump and dump, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. If, if the... 
you know, if the SEC would do their jobs, they'd be going after Kim Kardashian, Jake Paul, anyone, you know, Logan Paul, all these guys that promote these bullshit coins. And, and I'm sorry, but as bad as I feel about uh, th- these people just basically, you know, hyping up these, these SHIT coins, mm. it's, I guess what's, to me, it's like if, if you're taking your financial advice from Ja Rule, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, but if Ja Rule is telling you to buy such and such coin and you buy it and then it goes down to zero, uh, I'm sorry. You know, like you have nobody to blame but yourself. Yep. You know, like the, he's not Solomon Smith Barney. He's not Jim Cramer on Mad Money. It's like it's come on. Well, and Jim Cramer was uh, roasting him. That was what I was looking for that you said it. Uh was roasting Elon, saying this was all, um, where was it? Is this but it? even Jim Cramer, I mean, that guy's a laughing stock. Anytime he says, like, sell your crypto, I'm buying. Because <laughs> yeah. it, it always does the exact opposite. Yeah. Of yeah. Jim yeah. Do you, you, I, I, Kim, you do it true, but Ke- Kevin's always telling I'm me no every time the, crypto no. goes down, he's like, dude, crypto's on sale. 100%. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. And it's, I mean, that's when you need to take a look and see what, what's actually going on with each of them and try to understand it look for the accountability of the people who are running it before you make your choices you know just be educated be smart in what you're doing and you know understand that markets go up and down it's not just crypto i mean every market goes up and down Mm -hmm. yep it's just life so you you know you hold on and you go for it this isn't about short-term gain a lot of the time it's long term so settle in get comfy yeah, unless the solar flares destroy the internet, and then crypto is going to go to shit. <laughs> if, if the solar flare destroys the internet, a lot of other companies are going <laughs> yeah, around we, we, too. We have much bigger things to worry about. If all we of a all do not have jobs, it's true. <laughs> then we'll all be wishing we had cash. Yeah, I don't even like, think the no, cash will matter. Please. They'll be like, "Do you have uh, milk? Do you have water? Yeah. Do you have <laughs> that's the least chips? of your problems? Do you man. have gold?" <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I, 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 I'm trusting, I'm trusting you guys. We'll see. Uh, but, uh, Did, have you finally bought some cryptocurrency? I mean, you know what I have. I have like one Ethereum token. It's not bad. It's still good. That's it's good, good to have some yeah. Ethereum. And I have a lot of, and it's now called Hush. I have a lot of that. Uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> I have a yes, lot yes. of that. So, so I don't know what, what to do with it. what problem does the Hush coin solve? It's still going. I know they're still going. I mean, they're still out there. But uh, the hush token, better better name. That's for damn sure. But mm-hmm. I do it. Ma- I do manage to have a lot of hush tokens, and I have one Ethereum. But yeah, may, I might. I might. I, I, it's still down, right? It's still a good time to invest. Yes. Yeah. We could talk later too. Yeah, sorry, it's yeah. Okay. I, I think the market's <laughs> going to go down a little bit further. But I oh, yeah. so you're, you're saying you wait a little. Right you, wait, oh, you're saying wait because it's everyone's. It feels like whenever they do that, I agree. It feels like there's a lot of wealthy people and corporations that are like. Yeah, it's really bad. Don't get it. And then they're all buying it. And then yeah. that's when it all goes up. It yeah. does what they're, what they're doing is like, I mean, crypto's manipulated constantly. And all it is, is people that are a lot richer than you and me shaking the trees, hoping that these paper hands get rid of my crypto, but they're not because they're diamond hands. And I am odling strong <laughs> and I'm not going to let them buy my, my crypto on the cheap. No, thank you. All yeah. right. Mm. There it is. Yeah. yeah. Man, it's a slow news day also. I need to just make stuff up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm scrolling well, through everything. Um, you got in some terms stuff? of stuff? Yeah. So in, in terms of what I've reported earlier on on my channel, um, who is dubbed the most dangerous prisoner in the UK, in Britain, might actually get released finally. He's nearly been in prison for 50 years, has never unalived anyone. Uh, has never intimately attacked anyone. However, he's pretty much physically not very nice in terms of with his fists uh, and his whole situation. Uh, case in point, um, when um, it was around about what? Turn at, cent- uh, turn at Millennium or something? Uh, he was in Hull at the time, Hull Prison, and he was in a art class, uh, and the um, art teacher gave him a little bit of constructive criticism. And how did Mr. Charles Bronson, uh, he is the most dangerous prisoner in the UK, uh, respond to that? Took him hostage for two days, attacked him, and had a rope around his neck 
and drag him around like he was basically a, a, a dog. Uh, what? So, yeah, this is the kind of person that might actually now have a chance to be oh released. <laughs> on the streets of the uk like it's insane um but the the ground the groundbreaking thing about it all is that his parole hearing all parole hearings everything is is all done behind closed doors uh, including like court sessions in terms of like it's not like public is not televised or anything like that um this is going to be the first time ever that a parole hearing is going to be public everyone's going to know what's going everyone um and so yeah he has promised that he is going to basically rock the world uh with all his allegations of how he's been dealt with and treated in the prison service system and the other has, uh, has charles has charles bronson didn't tom hardy play him in a movie yeah yeah okay that yeah so yeah i've heard of that guy he's and so he's actually going to get released from prison potentially potentially yeah and and he, and his solicitor makes a really really good argument saying look the last five years he's been absolutely golden star pupil all this lot and he's now in his 70s and the um the the, the whole uh research shows that you know the older you get the more calmer you get and especially after 70 years old you're not as physically nasty anymore you're not uh, as spry. to people this uh, exactly yeah. um <laughs> so he's kind of banking on that and to be fair the argument that the solicitor puts forward for bronson to be free actually it's quite scary but i think it, it could be potentially effective um but we shall see uh i mean i think uh, tom hardy even went to charles bronson and like um spoke to him for the movie and did research and and, right. and all that lot but yeah this is one insane dude that might be yeah free. I th- it's like, nuts well in a few weeks ago john hinckley jr the guy that shot president ronald reagan he yeah. got released from prison so i feel like somewhere around the world there's like a reality tv show producer going hey wait a minute charlie bronson john hinckley they're roommates like there's yeah. gonna be a, there's gonna be a new reality show yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. I wouldn't be surprised. There's some very weird, uh, weird reactions. Here's <laughs> yeah. a here's a silly story. Go on. Well, or is this uh, is this does this make you like Chris Hemsworth more? Natalie Portman is vegan, so Chris Hemsworth didn't eat meat before their love and thunder kiss. Oh my god! Oh, how nice! Because he's got to eat a lot of protein. Chick, he eats a lot of chicken and stuff. He's really nice. The day we had a kiss scene, he didn't eat meat that morning. Imagine I didn't eat my meat this morning. <laughs> uh, went nice a whole morning. bit of sausage down me gob. <laughs> because I'm vegan, he eats meat like every half hour. Like that was thoughtful. That's not something I'm angry about or care about, but it was just being thoughtful. He was a very nice person. I'd say that's kind of cute. Good for him. He really does yeah. seem like he's actually a legit nice guys uh, out there, and uh, he's hardworking. Good guy. I like him a lot. I like him more than Chris Evans. I'll say it. And uh, yeah, good for him. But I, I imagine he eats a lot of meat. They literally just have some trainer like, here's your grilled chicken for the oh, half hour. He's, <laughs> he's off screen with whole rotisserie chickens just feeding that machine. I mean, you can't. Unreal. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can do it vegan. You can do it vegan. I know you are a Mr. Meat Man yourself, but uh, there have been vegan bodybuilders. It has existed, but I'm not a vegan. That vegan's too much for me. It's too. Those too exist? Insane. They I do. Yeah, they really? do. Yeah, you know who is a uh, you know who's vegan, uh, Kevin? Who? Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is crazy. What? Yeah. Come on. You didn't know this? Kill me, I'm right here. Ow. I know it always blows. Arnold has gone uh, vegan, and yeah, you can train. Uh, really? Yeah. All of the things. All of the. I, can I eat the. It. It's uh, crazy. He's not strictly vegan. Oh, he's not strictly he's, vegan. He's mo- he's mo- so he's he's mostly he's trying. He's like me. But yeah, where the hell are my chicken nuggets? He's ninety nine percent vegan, is what he said to lower his stuff. So he hasn't said he's full on. But yeah, Arnold stop eating meat once or two days beat, a week. He's still going to be able to beat up all of us when he's ninety years old. Like he'll. He is. I I, I, do, I have to say I do like him, but th- yeah. I do I wholeheartedly agree with him. Try to stop eating meat every meal. If you can just do two two meals a week without it and do something plant based, it's really good for you. Not not trying to preach or anything. I'm just challenge yourself. There's a lot. It's the 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 plant based stuff has gotten so much better. 
My it, God. it has. It's, it's unreal. I, I went to I went to a veggie grill. Yeah, I want to say like I a got year turned. or two ago. Yeah, and I and I tried the their whatever it is their Impossible Burger. Um, it's pretty it, good. It, it's I got to. I got to admit, it was it was. Not I mean, bad. It was I, I get it. It's not a burger. <laughs> like I'm not dumb, but it's as someone who enjoyed Shack. as yeah, someone like, who enjoyed um, burgers, it's the close. I'm like, all right, yeah, yeah. This is, if you fry yeah. it right, it really it really can trick you. There's some serious wizardry going on out there. Uh, my my buddy also made me vegan tuna salad, which I, I actually eat tuna, so it doesn't matter. But it's just uh, garbanzo beans mashed up with vegan mayo and, and seasoning, and oh my god, surprisingly really works anyway really? do what you want eat what you want but it is challenge yourself arnold's right try at least try one meat wheel meal next week uh to do a plant-based something see see what you do uh you, you'll be surprised not bad for you uh i'm looking for other silly stories but they i keep seeing that woman's face and I just, no i refuse <laughs> well that that's because like you, you probably clicked on so many of her stories exactly. now the algorithm is just like beating you <laughs> here's more here's more Pete Davidson really, really, really wants to have kids. Okay. Oh God, please. <laughs> he's, like, he's not gonna have kids right now. Like, yeah, you, you're not a Pete Davidson me fan. Me and Kim are talking about having one. You know, via, via surrogate. Like, oh God. <laughs> what's he's... what's that like to date a Kardashian? Like, oh, I can't imagine. I remember it's... Kanye West called uh, called Kris Jenner. Uh, Chris Jong Un or whatever, basically saying she's like a dictator, like she runs the show. Oh, it's it's a it's a whole oh, yeah. thing. But Pete Davidson is all part of the show. He's already in the trailer, right? There was like a trailer I saw where yeah. they, they introduced him. I think the clip was like Kim, like, "Hey, Pete, you want to come take a shower?" And then he's like, <laughs> just rushes to go take a shower. It was kind of funny. Uh, he's like, "Of course, <laughs> you nuts." What? What? <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, of course that was all part of the plan. He knows what he's doing. He's no dummy. That dude. There's dude's... just a smoke outline where his body used to be. Yeah, I mean that dude's <laughs> gotten famous by being with chicks. It's literally what he's known for more than anything else. There's not a famous movie. Even his stand-up, I don't think is that good. I tried to well, watch his Netflix show. He's funny on like small doses on Saturday Night Live. He is. But well, uh... he was like, I remember he he was dating. Um... He was dating Cassie David, who, oh my God. Larry she David's is, daughter, yeah. She's a, she's a smoke show. Um, and funny, and Larry David of Seinfeld's daughter. You're like, whoa. To me, I'm like, Cassie David, I'm like, okay, your dad's Larry David. You're funny as hell and you're gorgeous. Like, he should have quit while he was ahead. But then I guess he broke up with her via text to date. Uh, Ari- Ariana Grande. Ari- yeah, Ariana Grande. Who I didn't know is a huge nerd. Like a huge nerd. Ari? It, really? Yeah. Oh yeah, she's such the a. The first nerd. time I heard of her, I thought she's it was like funny a new too. I, I would, I, I think Ariana Grande would surprise. Like I could see why he'd be like, "Holy shit, hottest musician in the world! You're a nerd. You're adorable. You're like actually like into all this stuff." I could see why he probably got swooped up by that, and then it didn't last. Of course. Yeah. And then like I think he, he went to Kate up, Beckinsale. It. <laughs> it's like Jesus. <laughs> Just good for her. Like good, isn't she good in for her both 40s? of them? Yeah, good for both yeah. of them. Uh, yeah. I, I, I do have to let me, well, if you guys want to, how about this, Kevin, I want you to do it too. Everyone Google around, okay. find one story that they find funny in their Google search real quick. Okay. While I read this, uh, let me read a couple super chats. Cause I just I saw we got a big headline one. chat for you. Oh, good. you got, Kim's already got hers. Lord yeah. Cyberam. Thank you. Andy check Michael traps an audition for Michael by bi- Michael by bi- biopic. He looks like a thriller era. Michael Jackson. Don't know his real name. Okay. I want to, I will try and check that out. Uh, or uh, yeah, so if someone can find me the link, uh, Rayanne Skinner. Oh my God, Rayanne Skinner just dropped a hundred dollars through Stream Elements. Oh, not worthy. I'm not worthy. We suck. We suck. Andy, please check into Andrea McRae and Justice for Vaughn. She's another AH, except he didn't make it out. So happy to be part of this community and appreciate the work you've done. Also love you. Um, I'll tell you, be honest, more, maybe it's just you, Rayanne, messaging me in multiple places. And if so, clever. Uh, but no, I've, I have been, a lot of people have been telling me to look up Justice for Vaughn. Uh, I want to, I should connect with the headline group. If somebody, let me, let me put it in there. We Let's look into Justice for Vaughn. If we can't make it a main story, maybe it's something we can work uh, we can mention upon later. So I will try my best to see if somebody can help uh, connect us to that. But thank you so much for the generosity, Rayan. Uh, I will I will do my best to try and look into that. Edward Lock- Lockwood, friend of the devil, Grateful Dead. Uh, yeah, that's a Grateful Dead song. I like that song. 
Uh, Rayanne, again, thank you so much. Well, I'm looking into it. Uh, understood. Jacqueline Whitting, thank you so much. Kelly Grinderspoons, hey guys, I think that if a person wants to purchase a gun and be licensed, they have to go through training with law enforcement officer. Just a thought. Maybe. It shows what I know. Sorry, that's why I don't talk about it because I don't know a lot. But I, th th yes, good. They should. There should be at least some sort of training for safety, etc. Uh, which would also just be nice delay for these kids trying to get it. Um, so I hope that's the case. And if it's not, it should be everywhere. Uh, Nick knack. Oh my God. Finally a haircut. <laughs> Yay. Looks great. Love y'all <laughs> bringing hubby home from knee surgery soon. Oh good. I'm glad Aww. bringing it. I'm glad. I hope he's doing okay. And yes, thank you. I did finally get a, Oh my God. What did I just do? I did finally get a haircut and he style it so nice. Cause I never style it. I was like, I guess I won't wear my hat today. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll just have it on. I, I didn't say anything, but I saw a lot of you guys freaking out because yes, I did get a trim, but yes, it's nice. Uh, it was uh uh, 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 uh was a uh, Manuel over at I go at the barber shop. He was good today, and then he even gave me the hot towel. Uh, and then he uh. did uh, during the he's like, would you like the hot towel? I'm like, sure. And then he put the hot towel on. And I'm sitting there I'm like, oh, and then out of nowhere, he puts like a massager on my face. And he's like, <laughs> and I was like, really? Uh. <laughs> it was really good. Uh, so, yeah, he did a good job. I'll have to I, I never I never go back to the same barber. I just I never pay attention to my haircuts. I, I always just forget. Oh, you don't. I, I know it's really it's one a weird. I just got so much other stuff. I never schedule it, but I should. Every month, or like I go month to and the same half, place every time. Month Sam and a half, my same hair, guy. Just gotta make the routine. I'm gonna. I liked. I liked it. If enough people like it, maybe I'll go back and just style it again. But uh, yeah, no, it's it's nice and cool now for the rest of summer as more things plan. And I got the nice little, you know, the ah, oh, that feels good. The nice little buzz feels good back there. Uh, but thank you for noticing, everybody. A lot of people throwing fire in the chat. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're just so used to seeing me with a haircut. I mean, with a hat on. Sometimes I take care of my hair and it looks nice, so I appreciate it. I don't look like him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Is that your thank, doll? Thank you for that, Kelly. Uh, and um, sorry, hold on. Organizing these quickly. And thank you, Nick Knack. Teresa Stewart. Uh, oh my gosh. Teresa just tipped $100 too through Stream Elements. That's how you do it. Woo. Holy moly. Thank you, Teresa. You can get four gallons of gas now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, heads up. Minamota is now on Hulu. Oh, nice. nice. I'm going to add that to my, my list now. I never go to Hulu. I will now. So good on Hulu. Um, they have a, I, I, I do actually like their new show, Solar Opposites, which is by the creators of Rick and Morty. Yes. I love the the, the wall subplot. is my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Kim? <laughs> Do you watch it, Kevin? Or it's no, so I've, I've heard of Solar Opposites. I've never watched it. I don't know. So it's if you good. like Rick and Morty, it's like it's different. It's 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 not, it's fun. I like it. But I ended up just I, I, I needed like a nice comedy, and it, it suffice. It worked. But I, that they have this subplot through the show where one it's like it's a group of aliens, and it's just like a weird like moment in the sh episode where he keeps uh, he shrinks humans and puts them into his wall. And he's it's like an ant this, farm. It's like an ant farm. It's like my set, like all this like crazy. It's a behind glass. <laughs> and it was like a throwaway joke in an episode. And then as the show, sorry, spoiler, as the show progresses, they slowly start making the wall become a B storyline in the show where you follow the little miniature man <laughs> and what it's like now that you're in the wall. And then the show, like, I think it was like, I forget it was season one or two. They do a whole episode of the wall. <laughs> like it starts getting bigger and bigger. And it's like amazing. I was like, I want this show. I'm like, what? And then the, the they hype the episode is like a, the aliens. Like today, Brian goes to the grocery store. But and they and, it's, and it, literally you see it happening behind in the background blurry. But the whole episode's these little miniature characters, and they've created a whole <laughs> government system and pay like monet's money. It's it's so that, that's like the funny. Rick and Morty episode with uh, the battery. How he keeps like yes. the battery. Yes, but, yeah, it's, like, it's brilliant. That. It's oh, so great. like out there and crazy that I, I it's my favorite thing in that show. So I'm that the wall has almost made me more. I'm more into the wall, Kim, than I am even probably the show itself. But I lo anyway, I, I love a show that commits to a gag and then like, oh yeah, just leans yeah. in fully. I'll it watch anything by Dan Harmon. It's really funny, but it's like it's not even they like lean 
fucking did what they just like they went for it i don't even know how else to describe it because like, this is this whole slide plot for anybody i, I don't want to spoil yeah, anything it's so hard it to is, explain there's it. so much in there but it's like i've never watched a side plot in a show like this that makes me laugh that hard and then there was one thing that actually made me cry like the tone change on yep. it. <laughs> you know exactly what There's I'm like twists about. and turns. It one ups. It's like, like a, it's like that? it's like the a whole nother show in a show. Ooh. It's really brilliant. Anyway, I I love I love Dan Hart. I love Justin Roiland. Both of them just like ingenious, genius, absolute genius. Uh there it is. So uh, anyway, I, Hulu has does have some good stuff, um, and I I that that's one show I do like. So I have to catch up. But thank you for that. Uh, oh my gosh, Teresa! I'm not. I'm going back. Branda, thank you so much. And then Albus, Albus is like, "Well, I'll do it too." He just dropped another hundred. Oh my gosh, three in a row! And they did it through Stream Elements, so it doesn't get the YouTube piece. Holy moly, Albus, my man! Uh, thank you, Dumbledore. Well, I don't have a. Actually, can I? Well, thank you, Albus. Will it play? It will. Sorry, I should have done all these. Will it work now? Well, I don't have a new silly story. How about a very old one? American problem solving at its best. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Uh, it was laughing face. All right, hold on. He sent me a link. It's not letting me. Li oh, here I go and copy it. I forgot when you guys tip and it's not going crazy in the chat. I can actually do it. So if you tip, I, what is it? The Oregon State Highway Division oh. not only had a whale of a problem on its hands, it had a stinking whale of a problem. What to do with one 45-foot, 8-ton whale dead on arrival on the beach near Florence. It had been so long since oh a my God, yes. up in Lane County, nobody could remember how to get rid of one. Wait for it. Directing its battle plan, the highway division decided the carcass couldn't be buried because it might soon be uncovered. It couldn't be cut up and then buried because nobody wanted to cut it up. And it couldn't be burned. So dynamite it was, some 20 cases or a half ton of it. Jesus. The hope was that the long dead Pacific gray whale would be almost disintegrated by the blast and that any small pieces still around after the explosion would be taken care of by seagulls and other scavengers. Indeed, the seagulls had been standing nearby oh all day. As everything was being made ready, we asked George Thornton, the highway engineer in charge of the project, for his final observation. Well, I'm confident that it'll work. The only thing is we're not sure just exactly how much uh, explosives it'll take to disintegrate this thing so the scavengers, seagulls and crabs and whatnot can clean it up. Is there any chance it might be more than a one-day job? Uh, what do you think? Any large chunks left, and, uh, <laughs> you think exploding the whale is going to be a good call? Clean up, possibly set another charge. I'm terrified of what we're about to see. Buried primarily on the leeward side of the big mammal, so as most of the remains would be blown toward the sea. About 75 bystanders, most of them residents who had first found the whale to be an object. <laughs> oh my God! I can't believe there weren't more people. Martha, grab the grab the fixins. We're gonna go watch a whale get blown. We're gonna scavenge some of that whale meat. Look at these coastal liberal elites buying sushi. We're just gonna get it for free. Here we go. Nine, eight. Oh God. Oh no. Free Three, Willy! Two, <laughs> one. Oh, oh my man! God. <laughs> All right, Fred. <laughs> it's still dropping. Wow, look at the water. Like, you can see the chunks flying in the water. Yikes. Our camera stopped rolling immediately after the blast. The humor of the entire situation suddenly gave way to a run for survival as huge chunks of whale blubber fell everywhere. <laughs> Pieces of meat passed high over our heads while others were falling at our feet. The dunes were rapidly evacuated as spectators escaped both the falling debris and the overwhelming what? smell. Destroyed a cars! Car over a quarter oh my god! The site was the target of one large chunk. The passenger compartment literally smashed. <laughs> Fortunately, no human was hit as badly as the car. However, everyone on the scene was covered with small particles of dead whale. <laughs> as for the success of the effort, well, the seagulls who were supposed to clean things up were nowhere in sight, either scared away by the explosion or kept away by the smell. That didn't really matter. The remaining chunks were of such a size that no respectable seagull would attempt to tackle anyway. As darkness began to set in, the highway crews were back on the beach burying the remains, including a large piece of the carcass which never left the blast site. It might be concluded that should a whale ever wash ashore in Lane County again, oh those God. in charge will not only remember what to do, oh. but they will remember oh. what not to do. 
So the moral of the story, folks, don't blow up a whale on the beach. It doesn't do what you think it's going to do. <laughs> Dynamite solves all your problems. <laughs> Sadly, it does not. But wow. No, that thanks, one. <laughs> thanks for that. Pull. 50, that was 52 like, years ago. That that imagine happened. being that guy with the Cadillac. Like, honey, I've got good news and bad news. Good news, we've got a convertible and all the whale steaks we can eat. The bad news... I love they they remastered it like they got the original film that was that that looked epic, that was such a nice little time capsule. Nineteen seventy, in Florence, Oregon. Wow, four K transfer of the whale explosion. <laughs> That's a I good honestly, story. I honestly wasn't sure if we were watching like a sketch. <laughs> no, that was real. That was real. <laughs> that was real. Thank oh you, Albus. <laughs> yeah, Appreciate and then that. I love how they had that whatever that is like the the uh the bulldozer it's like why didn't they just use the bulldozer to begin with exactly just to push it out into the water a little very bit. And, and yeah they should have just cut it up in sections and chucked them i don't understand either yeah. uh but i i oh now here what Teresa's comment read heads up mina matu is now on hulu andy did you get my amazon pkgs packages finally now that things are settling down hope you can do more top three on mw plus oh my god what a deep cut i love doing ah. top three that was a fun show and uh yeah i should try to re revisit it at some point it was fun uh i have another i have another show steph and kim know what show i'm talking about i'm brew mm -hmm. another show i'm gonna work on first that I, I think could be good if people sign up for it properly uh so stay tuned Teresa. something else fun but i did love that that thank you for asking and then uh let's see here uh teresa you you owe i owe you one as well because i said anyone over 150 was it 50 what it says on the bottom heads up mina matu is now on hulu oh, yeah, i just did that andy one. did you get my amazon pkgs and I, no i didn't get your package yet finally oh, here now that things are settling down hope you can do more top three on mw plus and then i'll Andy, please check into the Andrea McRae and Justice for Von. She's another I except he didn't make it out. So happy to be a part of this community and appreciate the work you do. Also love you, Kim and Steph. Aww, See, love hearing, love hearing the Dolly robot too. tell us. Albus, did I lie? Problem solving at its best. <laughs> No, Albus, that was fantastic. <laughs> Kylie, Andy, did you go on that run today? Your show yesterday inspired me to add more cardio in my life and more collective soul. I, 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 I didn't because I had to go take my kid and do the haircut and then get the videos in. So today was a little tougher. I am planning to tomorrow uh, to get back. Or I could do it tonight. You know what? No excuse. I could still do it today. Today is not over. Uh, so I will I will do it. I have challenge me. I will uh, go for my uh, run t later today. So thank you, Kylie. And yes, keep bugging me, guys, so I look stupid. Um, Lord Cyberam. Andy, send you a link. Also search in the Michael Biopic audition. Uh, I don't want if there's music and stuff. I don't want to play a Michael Jackson clip, Lord. So that's why I'm just hesitating. Uh, Brianna Mays, first time donating. Sorry, it's not like much. Oh, don't apologize. Nobody's ever got to apologize nope. for tipping. Mm. My gosh, but thank you for tipping. Kim and Steph, you all are beautiful. Andy, you are such a kind soul. Keep on. Well, thank you so much. Uh, and then Kess Hazel, I didn't realize you covered things like this. Please look into Adventures with Purpose. They are a phil phil philanthropic organization searching for missing people and who may have disappeared in the water. Okay. Uh, thank you again, Albus. Sorry, I'm catching up. Rise above. I just wanted to drop in and say you can't hold back a real hero. That's part of what makes them a hero, in my opinion. Love you, Steph. Yeah, I mean, valid. Uh, they should have both just done it. But uh, hard in the moment sometimes when all your superiors are like, no, or they're literally restraining you. Um, and then we had one from Jacqueline again. I got that one. Uh, R. Lee, 77 minutes. Andy, once they had about five, six officers, they had enough to go. 77 minutes is excusable, inexcusable. Cowards. The door was never locked. Nobody checked. LM says Ruiz is an officer in San Antonio, not in Uvalde. Looked, took him 17 minutes to get to the school after his wife's text. Pebbles and woo-woo, right-wing America are becoming fascist. So pro-life, they won't kill someone gunning down living, breathing children. Things need to change. How has this gotten so bad? Lupevria, Angela Gomez's account of the shooting is heartbreaking. My own middle school went into a lockdown when a man was carrying a log bag. It ended up in golf clubs, but better safe than sorry. Can't believe the guy was able to just stroll in. I can't either. Kerry Bonov, shooters present presently have attended school learning active shooter drills 
They know what the school's response will be now. They are trained for it. Lone Star, the AR the shooter had was illegally modified. Is that true? ARs are semi-automatic, one squeeze, release one round. ARs don't shoot as full automatics. Is that true, Kevin? Um, I don't know if he if he modified his. Um, I, I know if you want a fully automatic AR-15, which is an M16, uh, those things those cost well over ten thousand dollars. You need a tax stamp from the ATF. There's all kinds of paperwork, but I think it's easier to modify an AK than it is an AR, unless he had like a bump stock on his AR-15. And what a bump stock is, it just kind of replaces the back end of the AR. So that every time you pull the trigger, the inertia, basically, it makes it essentially a fully automatic weapon. Um, but I didn't hear about his weapon being uh, modified. Or yeah, fully I can't confirm that, but, our, but that's what Lone Star is um, saying. Uh, Brittany Good says, joining late, but thank you for all you do. The, head, the hearts of you all makes the show amazing. Andy, your ha haircut looks nice, too. Oh, thank you. Uh, and then Steph Robinson, it's easier to ask forgiveness than permission. Facts. Jocko, especially in that kind of scenario. Jocko Spillink, this is a movie set? Ugh, what? No. I'm not humoring that any further. Goth Girl, Gen X, British, before Combine, these things were non-existent. We need to know what changed. Why haven't new laws been implemented at schools for safety? And why do people, kid, think murder is a solution? I don't know. Don't know. I mean, social media hasn't helped things. Frank, can I just... Oh, go ahead, Steph. Sorry, b b before we go further, in, in terms of what uh, Kevin mentioned about AR-15s, um, so from my understanding, they are semi-autos. Yeah. The, you'd, you'd have yeah, one, to... You'd, you'd, one, you'd, you'd, one, tr one trigger pull gets one round fired. Correct, correct yeah. Um, y y you'd have to yeah modify it for it to be fully auto. Yeah, um, I think it's I I you know, and this I'm not sure, but I I've been told that it's easier to modify an AK-47 to make it fully auto than it is for an AR-15. Um, you know, n now with 3D printing, you know, there, there's yeah. I mean, it's it's probably not hard to do to make any weapon, uh, I guess, fully automatic. But what I would yeah. say to that is, it's kind of pointless because having gone to shooting ranges and shot, I've shot a couple AKs that had like silly devices on the trigger that basically mm. would make them fully auto. And mm. after the second or third round, your, your rifles just, it, you know, it's, it's very difficult to keep uh, a rifle on target fully yes. auto, just completely dumping a mag. It, it's pointless. Um, and you'll get much better results when you semi auto and just kind of keep it on, on target. Correct, because then the barrel of the gun, in terms of just like the 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 impact of the bullet leaving and it lifting yeah. up, it's not happening. It's just one yeah, after it, the other. It, but there's a bit of a pause so that exactly. it can stay put. Yeah, yeah. And to what that person just said in their comment, Andy, you know, one thing I think that the news could do is stop freaking plastering these shooters' faces and giving them the attention they want. Facts. If, if, if I were the editor of, of a newspaper or a news show, I'd be like, you know, asshole kills 10 children, you know, and, and don't even mention their name. Don't even mention who they are. Like, don't give don't give them the press that they that they want. I think that's part of it, too. Well said. Uh, oh, sorry, I was just responding to a. So I apologize. I just wanted to have that in because um, I, um, I, I'm just for privacy and security, uh, I'm not going to say much, but I do know someone um, who in the UK does have full firearms license, both shotgun and rifle. So um, I, I've kind of like been taught a lot in terms of like different calibers, firearms, semis, fully autos all mm -hmm. that lot and one thing that kind of uh grinds my gears is that there's a lot of misinformation out there about firearms yes. about gun safety this that and the other some of it is accident it's innocent enough but others it's misinformation for a purpose to drive this whole anti-firearm kind of movement which i don't yeah. entirely agree with let's put it that way um yeah. so whenever there's like misinformation out there or um uh, talk about uh firearms and you're not too sharp i like to try yeah. and get in there and be like no 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 th oh, th that's like here yeah these yeah. are definitely semi-autos he, he would have had to modify it for it to be a fully auto 
Right. That, and that's one of the most, I guess, annoying things is when, yeah. whether it's people on the news or politicians talking, I don't think it should be legal for you to be able to buy a fully automatic machine gun. It's like, you can't, he you can't. morons. He you can. can't buy a fully automatic machine gun. The, I think it was like the Firearms Act of 1985. Yeah. Fully automatic weapons. Like the only way to get a full. And by the way, you can go online to places like gunbroker.com mm. and you can like search for a fully automatic AR-15 and M-16. They cost like twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. Like yeah. they are not cheap. And then you have to get extra paperwork. You got to go through the ATF. I mean, there's so many hoops you have to get through to get a fully automatic firearm. So that that is annoying when people are talking about they want to ban one thing and then the news will show like a clip of some guy like fully automatic just dumping a hundred round mag into a uh, a target and you're like, yeah, those should be illegal. It's like they already are, and it's it's it drives me nuts when when, yeah. when that narrative is played by the news. It's yeah, it's annoying. Mm, yeah. But, uh, let's see here. Frank, none, ya, none of you says it's against the law to carry near schools. Cops shouldn't have needed permission. Another good fact. Exactly. I don't know why they didn't do it. M Mandy Alpert. This reminds me of the documentary 77 minutes about the McDonald's massacre in 1984. It's still taking them 77 minutes to act on this shit. Unreal. Rosemary Atardo. Thank you all for talking about this tragic shooting. People need to know the timeliness of events. Uh, thank you, Rosemary. Uh, Lara, thank you. And then Captain Dunzel, check in with real Lara B. Yes, we know about the judge. I don't care. You all know. We knew this yesterday. She's got nothing left. Stop wasting brain energy on her until there's something new. We all knew that was going to happen. Yes, there, all of her emotions were thrown in the trash, as expected. Uh, Angie, man, Andy, give me a good. you gave me a good cry today. This is also heartbreaking, and seriously, fingers crossed those problems will get solved someday. Hugs for all. Yeah, no, I lost it, too. I pretty much did it again. I did have a take, and I did, and then I did, even on during the video, that shot of the boy, oh, it just guts me, man. I, I just, I, I feel so sad for our kids that this is a problem. Like, Kevin, you know, you, when we were kids, all of us, I, I didn't have, we didn't have school didn't shooting have drills. School shootings, like... This is insane. We had fire drills. Uh, and that was yeah. it. And, and now they have like stranger danger drills and shooter drills. And they've, it's like a four separate drills my kids got to stress about. It is so effed up. It's so effed up. I don't know how we've gotten here. I just can't believe. And it makes me why. It's why I don't get into politics and want to talk about it because they're all scumbags. They're all scumbags yeah. who are doing nothing. They don't care. They're all the lobbyists, the wonder, NRA, all of it are funding wonder. so much shit. It makes me infurious. Yeah. I don't like it. Go ahead. What were you saying? But like, but like, what's the what's the dynamic like in high schools now? Because like you said, like when we were in high school, it's like this, this stuff didn't exist. But now it makes me wonder if high schools are different in the sense that you know, like the indoor kids, like the audio video club, like the nerds. I wonder if bullies are nicer to them, knowing that at any time, like you just made the list. It's, like, it's oh, weird. I, I I had a I had a talk with my daughter. Well, I mean, again, because my kids aren't in high school. My daughter is in sixth grade, just turned starting middle school. Will be in seventh right. grade, and my kids are in my kids in elementary school. And this is all happening in elementary schools. But yeah, high schoolers are seeming to me the ones who come back. For I had an interesting talk though. She's like. It, there's less bullies now, it seems, because, yeah. you know, it's more popular now to, like, lift up the kid. Now, that doesn't mean there aren't. There's, of course, bullies always. Right. We see it sometimes. But, you know, at least in my kid's school, like, it's in to be, you know, positive and, like, support everybody. You know, it's, it's definitely way more positive than it was in my day. We didn't have that yeah. narrative at all when I was growing no. up. <laughs> so yeah. there's definitely no. a lot more, like, looking out for the little kid and, like, but they're still scumbags always, you know, and it's usually the parents. It's bad parenting uh, or yeah. lack of attention from the parents. The kids become assholes uh, and that's what usually spurs it. And yeah, there's always going to be some kid on the outlier. When you look at that kid at uh, what's his name? Ethan Crumbly, like talk about scumbag parents. Um, uh, the, 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 they 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 uh they're, they're getting lawyers for themselves instead of their own kid they were they were total awful they knew they'd said nothing oh uh, yeah and then he like, always signed falls. off he yeah. signed off on his son being able to have a, a gun it's like <laughs> to me it always yeah. falls back on the parents uh the parents are always number one and then yeah, yeah I'm he's, sure not, there's always... he's not gonna have a fun time in civil court no totally i'm sure there's some idiot at school too and we need to bullying at schools is ridiculous and what's so crazy is we've talked about on the, on the on the show, like if you fight back and defend yourself, you're kicked out too. Like that's crazy to me.
But I, I understand yeah. it's complicated for the teachers. Like sometimes they just don't know. So they're like, we're just going to eliminate both. But I don't know, man. Kids who are starting up shit on purpose and they're caught, I got no time for it anymore. Like there needs to be set, set examples and parents need to be prepared. And yeah, I know kids are going to do stuff, but maybe there's like one warning, whatever. Anybody who's done that multiple times, like enough. Like there's got to be some more serious things because to me it's all it's all comes from that bullying and bad parenting. And, and when those two things combine, well then yeah, bad shit can happen. And it's really yeah. scary. Yeah, show me a bully and I'll show you a crappy parent. You know, uh, I, you got to thank temp. What's up temp. Uh, I know you were, you were sending me a lot of links. You were very passionate about all this. Uh, so thank you for all your help temp. Hey everyone. Love y'all. Andy, very nice haircut. Looks good. Hope the stories I sent pr uh, prove on point. This is a really important issue. Appreciate you covering it. Love to all you have a good show. Well, I appreciate you. They did help. Uh, thank you for sharing me those updates so we could really be informed. And, uh, yeah, it pissed me off, man. And as you sent, uh, thank you for telling me that earlier. Uh, about those two links and now i'm caught up i think as we go and then i'm gonna go to your links guys before i do lord uh ram it's not a music clip joe angry at michael okay uh, uh i don't know how to look it up did you send it to me i don't know where you sent it stacy slade andy can you look up the jacks the jason momoa vid with him inappropriately touching girls what i think you can shed more light on it i hope it's not true uh not jason momoa jason oh, like what him. where is this clip We'll look into it. Yeah. We'll look into room. it. I'm sending if anybody there. Is this true? Okay. Thank you, Stacy. Uh, Skywalker, wha whale carcasses can explode on their own from built up gases. It could be dangerous to move them, which is probably why they didn't cut it up either. Interesting. All right. We learn, learn something every day. Anonymous, hope your kids <laughs> like the snacks. Yes. I loved them. Uh, send you something for the new office pick sent via Twitter. I, I have him out. I'm going to go to the post office later today. I, a lot of people have told me more is coming and uh, I'm very close to my wish list being finished. I did finally get my design. Steph and Kim have seen it. More sketches of the studio are now in place where I'm getting a little few more items. Uh, and uh, I mean, I guess I can reveal it. I don't know. What's why am I waiting? I do. Yeah. have one. I do have one. It's Amazon Prime Day. Uh Hold on. Oh, I totally forgot it's Prime Day. It's still Prime Day. Uh, it's not my my list is not anywhere complete, but there are some items on there. For people are like you know what? I can't wait, Andy. I must <laughs> buy you something on Prime Day. Uh, yeah, we have. Wait, some do, stuff. do you share your Amazon wish list with your audience? They've asked. You, they've yeah, dude. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, hold on. I don't know if I need these yet. Wait, are we looking at your wish list right now? Yes, we are. Yes, it's, on, yes. it's on our screen. Oh, is, is that like a little Greg. Madonna with the whip? That's no, Brittany. No, it's Brittany. It's Brittany, oh, it's the Brittany. circus that, one. That's Brittany. It's right. so much cheaper for you guys. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I don't, I don't think I need this yet. And I don't need extras. How do I move it to... There we go. While you're looking at that, Andy, is it okay if I thank a few people? And I know Steph needs to. Yes, well. please. Okay. Um, just thank you so much to T in Tennessee. Uh, to Tennessee. Jeannie. Yep. Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee. Tennessee. <laughs> oh, I'm in Nashville right now. Look at that. Nice. Kate, as well as Dumbledore, thank you very much for your PayPal tips. I really appreciate it. Love you guys. Thank you. Um, and speaking of uh, Amazon uh, wish list, uh, firstly, Christina, thank you so, so much uh, for jumping on and getting me some uh, brand new computer speakers uh, to improve the audio coming out. Uh, so that's amazing. Thank you so much. Also, as well, thank you so much to Niall uh, for a new uh, low level boom mic arm. Uh, it's going to be much better and easier to have around the new studio which is awesome also as well um thank you so so much to t in tennessee uh, for your kind cash app and albus dude thank you so so much for that generous paypal um hope you're having a good day too uh we are chatting right now on dms about the rest of your message that you've just mentioned there and so yeah uh we'll we'll we're getting it sorted. We 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 we're, we're getting it sorted. But yeah, 
It's going to be so exciting. Ah! But yes, thank you so much for all your kind generosity. All off to the next adventure that goes, which hopefully he'll move out at the end of this week. Oh, Ooh, I hope. <laughs> I hope, I hope. <laughs> I miss uh, things no, but <laughs> yeah, hope, uh, hope, <laughs> hope will keep me alive. <laughs> but when when are you going to be releasing your uh, Amazon wish list, Andy? Uh, hold on. I mean, I still need to do more things at it, but I just put in some because I figured for Prime Day people might want to buy mm. things. So I have. I'm just verifying that it's there. So hold on. Is this? I just removed that. Okay, good. There's, it's again. I, I need to do a few more like deeper cuts, but this is a. Uh, did it show up there? Should work now. I just added it. Sorry, bear with me. Where'd it go? I just had it. And it didn't work. Now you're seeing what I just bought, which was see what I bought for my car because my kid loves Transformers. Oh my god! Yeah! I bought, bought, <laughs> bought Autobot decals. <laughs> He hasn't nice. seen them yet. I can't wait. Uh, I just had it there. Where'd it go? But yes, yeah, so I'm about to paste it, and I'm going to be updating it today and tomorrow more. But for those of you who just keep asking, here's some stuff. And in today's Prime Day. There's a couple things in there that sure mm -hmm. I'll, I'll feel free to you're, please please buy early. Go ahead. Uh, like these, uh, I'm going to actually put two of these on because these are badass. And uh, oh, there's like the Philips Hue lights that you can. These are Philips like the Hues, but they're yeah they're. Uh, they're another yeah, brand, same, thing, same idea, but yeah, they're pretty cool. Uh, so is that, did I put two there? So um, if you go down to add, oh, never mind. It didn't work? If, if no, if you go back to your wish list, hon. Yes. Okay. Is that it? Where did I go? How am I, how am I uh, not knowing how this works? This is fun for everyone to listen to. You're having a boomer moment. I'm very, I'm very. And then just under move and delete, there's add comment quantity and priority. So just click on that. There we go. And then put in two. Save. Get me Jeff Bezos there on the go. phone. Oh, we did it work. Okay. It works. Yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah. Love it. Okay, cool. All right. There it is. All right. So send list to others. Uh, view only, view copy only. link, and yeah. there it is. Woo! Who's going to be the first person to buy something off, and how big you're going to get? Is it a competition or just nobody? I won't, I won't be bothered. But there it is. Uh, the first few items that I need for the studio are in there. The biggest item, and I hope it alert, is this Roadcast Tricaster Production Studio Mixer. Um, that's what I've been told is the best thing to get and will help sound tremendously, uh, as well as some other little set decorations. And of course, a Britney, a Weird Al. I mean, an Infinity Gauntlet. I, I've always wanted that in the background. <laughs> and it's a fully articulated Thanos glove. Uh, and uh, some I, the, the best headphones I've always loved, but I'm like, I never want to pay for them myself. So if somebody's like, you know what? I'm going to treat you for your birthday or the studio. There's a few items. And yes, I will be adding more, especially if you guys purchase what's on there uh, as we get closer. And I'll put some more smaller items too. Because uh, I know a lot of you can afford it. But thanks to everybody who's been asking. No pressure. But there it is. I will start adding some more as we get closer. Um, but uh, there was one other one that came in. that I'm going to go to your stories. So thank you for that. Um, I'll check the Amazon, uh, my P.O. box soon. Uh, it says anonymous. That Who is that? That's um, It doesn't tell me your name when you do it that way. Make sure you tell me. But I appreciate the snacks. I now I'm forgetting. But the snacks were amazing. My family has literally been eating them all the time. It's been awesome. So if that's the box of all the snacks you sent, they, they, everyone loved it. Jojo sent you a Twitter DM with link to story about students pulling the gun and shot VP of AH and SRO. Officer shot and disarmed student before anyone else could, but hurt even while he was injured. I don't follow. There's too many abbreviations, but uh, I will look in the Twitter DM. Kez, uh, Kez Hazel, my, my neighbor's... My niece's private Jewish school has Mozad trained security and bomb scares regularly. Assad. Assad, thank you. Um, Assad trained security, bomb scares regularly. Well, yeah, I mean, honestly, at, at this point, I feel like all the schools need legit security. That should be part of the budget. Uh, Ulisa B, I'm from Leicester, UK, and since the Dunblane incident, most schools where I'm from have implemented measures to keep intruders out. Oh. High bar fences, reinforced doors, which have security systems. It's so crazy. It's like you're taking our kids to jail. Uh, in school more and more, but it's got to be what it is. 
Uh, the Jason Momoa video was highly edited, said Victoria Quigley. So there you go. Uh, and then T for Tennessee, your office gift is coming through DHL. Well, thank you so much. That's why I did it, Kevin, too. Because a lot of people are like sending me off gifts from my new studio. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Can I tell you what I want? <laughs> Please. Yeah. If you're going to keep yeah. sending stuff. I've got me, three of these. I don't I, need I know. I, I asked for uh, Brittany. Uh, I was like, I really want the Brittany, Brittany Simpsons. And now I have like five of them behind me. Uh, so thank you. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be more careful because our audience is incredibly generous. Uh, I so really I like Tiffany's. I really like, you know, jewelry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, when in call, doubt, new cars target cool. a Target gift card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happily, I love Starbucks uh, gift cards and Toyota. T for Tennessee cameras. is like I already got something on your Amazon list. Oh my God! Thank you so much. What? Appreciate oh, it. Oh, re refresh it. Let's see that what was, just happened. That was. Oh, is it tell me or is it supposed to be a surprise? Uh, I can't even tell. Well, the thing is, see what's missing. What's missing? It's the what is missing? Can I see filter? Are <laughs> oh, you? Can you tell? No, but Albus has just sent me a message. You're gonna lose your shiz. That's all I'm gonna say <laughs> right now, Andy. You might wanna you might wanna check It says Someone bought it all. No, it's no. Andy, check your PayPal. <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't think he was gonna do that. Oh wow, there it is. <laughs> Holy moly. Albus just dropped five hundred dollars! Oh, holy moly buy whatever whatever chat whatever whatever was i'll figure out the gummy bears for your birthday some other way <laughs> we we were we were we were talking about the road uh broadcaster pro your uh the sound uh deck oh he's trying to buy it and he can't buy it yeah Oh, so he's so, like, here, I just bought it for you. Here's cash. Pretty much, yeah. Aww. My there goodness, go. Albus, Albus, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, well, pr appreciative. You are the best. Incredible. You, I, you're, I need to get my own little Albus figure now as well. Uh, yeah. Now, like Kim, you have you have gone above and beyond to, to this whole community. But uh, my goodness, I'm just speechless. Uh, thank you for everybody. Kevin, our community is insane. They are the most is, generous, clearly. amazing people. I want to share the joy. Where do, where do people follow you? Are you still on YouTube? Are you doing yep. pranks? Where can yeah, people find so, you? Yeah, youtube.com slash Kevin Bruick, my name. And then uh, I'm Kevin Bruick on Twitter and real Kevin Bruick on Instagram because someone took Kevin Bruick. There's Kevin Bruick. He's got, uh, yeah, dude, me. look at that crushing it you need, you need but kevin does I, the need, most, I need to make more pranks he yes, does I kevin and i our real backgrounds we would we would uh do these amazing pranks for break.com at the time and uh my god we've made some funny pranks and uh he's yeah. also done a lot on his own some amazing pranks but uh he has no fear in fact i still owe yeah. you an apology for the probably the most ultimate best prank ever on youtube <laughs> where we sent kevin in a ghost costume to compton uh, what? <laughs> we sent what? him in a ghost costume. Way, months, months terrible. before, months before we were doing this prank, I'm in the office going like, "Guys, this is you know, we we can't." There people it is. Going to think I'm like KKK. Um, I'm like, a scary white ghost in the city of Compton, and I'm about to scare some people. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? Yeah. Hey guys, today Kevin's in Compton. And so, yeah, the, Roman will take credit, but this was all my idea, so it's all my fault, yeah. Kevin. I was secretly I was in the like, I, kept saying, I was like, guys, this isn't. I don't. I'm not comfortable. Like, no, no, it's gonna be great. And so I was, I was the mas evil mastermind behind it all. And, but Roman, Ro Roman Atwood, who's like massively popular YouTuber, he doesn't even have to make movie videos anymore because he's still so popular and successful from his family vlogs. Uh, really sweet guy. But anyway, here's Kevin surprising no! real people in Compton as a ghost. No! But the whole gag of I love it. The one guy doesn't even move. He's nobody like, really ah! cared. Nobody cared. It was more just annoying and rude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't embarrass Kevin more. I'll embarrass myself. We sent over actors. They were all in on it. And they were all in on it. I had a walkie to one of their ears, I think. And uh, the whole gag was like. Don't, don't, don't leave. Really, really, really get mad at them. 
And so, dude, we're just, we're just no, 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 And then we had a security guard come in. Oh God, Kevin, I'm sorry. Yeah. No. And you know what's funny? The so bodyguard was also in on it. The bodyguard was in on it. But before we actually went to this specific location to film, because like I'm, you know, I'm Florida man. I'm from the South. So you know, like, I always carry like a pocket knife on me. So you know, just because I, you know, I just always have. And the our security guard started patting me down before we were doing the prank. I was like, "What are you doing?" And he's like, oh, "I just wanted to make sure you don't have any." I was like, "Well, I usually carry a pocket knife." I was like, "But I leave it in the car when I'm doing pranks." But why would you check me? Because they were concerned I was going to like pull the yes. knife out. We had a whole oh, Kevin. We had a whole meeting about it. We're like, because we knew you oh, were armed. Like, what if Kevin's got his yeah. gun on him? What if Kevin's got a weapon on him? <laughs> we were very concerned. Like you, can't, you can't carry guns in like Los Angeles. I was like, like I don't know. I'm like Kevin's. No, no. Kevin might like fight back. So they were all prepared for that in case it happened. But yes, I was. I'm a complete douchebag. I mean, do you forgive me yet? This was one of the best pranks I think of all time. Don't you? Are you? Are you still mad? Or if you before, come full circle? Before, before they because i guess if you try to find all my break pranks like they're all privated mm -hmm. but i but i think like before it got privated it had like 22 million views. it was really i mean i think i have it you should upload it i think i have the do you have a you have a raw copy right you should own i don't this. have a raw copy i will get you the raw copy and you should upload this oh, really? and finally own it yes in fact i don't even want to share any more of it let's tease it and then yeah. we, when you no, when you get it on your channel. channel, we will properly promote it. So people go yeah. give you the view and the link. So don't watch it yet. I, I think I have a copy of this one. I think I grabbed this one because I was like, I, when break was starting to disappear, I grabbed a lot yeah. of them. And you should have them all, brother. So I'll make we, stay tuned. The classic break yeah. pranks that I have that Kevin hasn't uploaded, he will. And uh, this one particularly, you're not gonna want to miss where this one goes. It's pretty, it's pretty bad. I, 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 it was, I was laughing, yeah. but I also felt bad. It, yeah. it, it, Kevin got a little humiliated. Uh, we, Everybody's got jokes. Uh, but my God, did he handle like a pro? Thanks for the trauma. I really appreciate it. Yeah. You know, all these, all these years later. <laughs> it's like, he's like, Andy, I've actually had been like, uh, 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 you know, this happened to me once and this was like bringing back trauma. Yeah. It was not very funny at the time, but it was, I mean, it was, it, it was pretty funny also at the same time. Uh, and it was a, probably the most epic prank we ever did, but he's also done a lot of other pranks that didn't cause as much trauma, in which case yeah. you should check them all out and we should bring them to you. But my point in bringing this, Kevin has balls. Kevin will go and do whatever the producers tell him to I do. Will. He's got the guts, the cojones, to, to whatever for the laugh, even if it's at his own expense, which j jerk producers like me at the time were doing. My God, your security guard was just throwing you under the bus. <laughs> Really? They like, literally, we do. There's a part in the prank where he, there he's like, "Take your drawers off," and Kevin's like, "No." And then the security guard's like, looks at Kevin. He's like, and the security guard drops his pants. I'm like, is this a black thing? You're like, like, what's going on? What are you on? doing? <laughs> you're like, dude, you're supposed to fight him. What are you? You're taking your pants off? Oh my yeah. god, it was really. But anyway, uh, let's get the video on Kevin's channel so he can finally profit off of it. Uh, yeah, and, send uh, that to me. And that would be good. Br br bravo. But check out Kevin Bruick. Wait, I just had it up. Kevin Bruick on YouTube. I just send the link. Uh, and then where they find you on Twitter? Uh, just my name, Kevin Bruick. There at, it is. At Kevin Bruick. Look up Kevin Bruick. Um, let's get him another 3,000. Uh, let's get him at 230 subscribers. Instagram, it's uh, just real Kevin Bruick. Whoa. Yeah. I, I'm nice. telling you, you got to come back to Florida. I'll take some time. Let's do a, let's yeah, revisit do, some do of some our pranks. pranks. What was it? What was your favorite but here's one? My, here's my problem about pranking in Florida. You know, concealed carry is allowed. So what if we did a prank and then all of a sudden, like, you think you're funny? You think you're funny? And I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah. We wow. had a, I remember you, you, you weren't, were you there for the Howie one with the, yeah, you were. Cause you played the, when Howie Mandel is like, uh, we, we had a. So H Howie Mandel redid my prank uh, that we did in Panama city. That's uh, right. That one year for spring break. But and don't you was... show up as the, at some point, Oh no, you did it. That's why I'm mixing him up. Cause you did it without him. We did this yeah. prank where Howie Mandel did it once. I'm just start name dropping to help because we, we had some big, <laughs> big moments. Kevin did it as well, but the prank was literally, we had this actress who looked young, but she was 18 on the beach and she was asking men to put suntan lotion on her back. And then as she does, as he's doing it, she sort of unties it and is holding the top up as they're then, you know, proceeding to put suntan lotion on Howie at one point, And then Kevin at one point comes up and goes, what are you doing to my 14 year old daughter? Uh, 
and and the dudes get very they're like what 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 and uh it's a very and then uh it just pr it proceeds from there uh as we tell these creepy guys to not keep putting suntan lotion on but we did a no, lot one of guy wanted the, to fight me they did the, the other one that really did well for us was the farting sunscreen lotion we, these are all spring break pranks and yeah was that was like, on the today show the today show hoda, featured it. hoda and jenna were laughing <laughs> that's right it was literally like this bikini girl's like can you put sunscreen on and the guy's like sure and they would walk over and sunscreen up her back and then we had this like fake fart uh machine and then kevin's there well, with the spray. spray well the spray so i was like i was downwind like three or four seats and i would just spray it in the air and the air would take it back to them and like that totally sold the prank because they heard the fart but then as soon as they smell it they're like oh god that's real and they were just like, what did this chick it eat was like, for lunch? We got like 10 million views on that dumb thing. It was crazy. Yeah, it was, something, it was something too crazy. many views. Too many views. Uh, but there <laughs> was fart, bikini fart prank like or something. like shooting fish in a barrel. Uh, but the best prank of ever that Kevin ever did was Gabriel in our grinder prank. And this one, oh. oh my God, this one, guys. We would the basically had prank. a producer. Uh, Jillian and other producers were there. And we would basically uh, scout the beach for somebody. She would go and like get some information, like the name, what where they went to school. We'd wait a little bit, and then Kevin would show up as Gabriel to these guys, uh, in uh, you know, more uh, well, we gotta be like, careful. Well, he was like very flamboyant, you, I guess is the best way to get, say it. When you go to Panama City, everyone on the beach kind of walks in one direction this way or one direction that way because there's this one spot where there's like four or five different like bars, and it's just kind of where like all the all the young kids go to party. So if you know someone's at this part of the beach and they're eventually going to be here, we'd set up the hot girls here. We're and here I'm like three. four or five hundred yards down the beach, That's uh, waiting. Find out some of their info. There, we always, there is a cop. Kevin, and he's gonna prank There's them Gabriel. Using the man on man dating app Grindr. So Grinder is like the man on man app, and so a lot of these spring break guys, they don't want to be known that they're on Grinder. Brad Kentucky CrossFit. And he does so Jillian has told Kevin on a walkie, his name's Brian, he does CrossFit. Oh my God, Brad, from Kentucky, right? Yeah, what's up? What's going on? Do I know it? I'm sorry. Yeah, we know each other from the, the Grinder, the gay app. We've been talking for months on Grinder. You're into CrossFit, you do all that stuff. <laughs> yes. Well then how come this photo matches your face and body? Brad, come on, where are you going? Kenny from Cleveland. Yes, <laughs> you're on my Grinder app. <laughs> yes, we've been talking for a couple months. Kenny from Cleveland. Yes, your picture matches your profile. What's going on? It's Gabriel. We've been talking for like two months. Let me see that profile. Let me we've see been, that profile. Been, well, let me see that profile. We've been talking for two months. See, so yeah, Kevin, I guess What's you would. In today's you, PC world, you couldn't play the, the character. We'd have to find an actual. Uh, yeah. We'd have, have to find, find some, an actual gay person. An actual gay person to do it now. Drunk. This was a while ago. <laughs> Sean! But I just found, as a social experiment, I found it very interesting, like how Sean, they would handle it. Oh my it. gosh! From that was the most dangerous prank I ever did. The gay app. They got really angry. You're Sean, you go to Kentucky? Oh my god, who are you and who put you up to this? Yes, right? Who put you up to this, dude? So what's up? Are you are you? Do you want to hang out later and grab a drink? Good, Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> is this your boyfriend? Are you having sex with this guy? No, I've known him since fucking first grade. You're, I'm, I've been talking to this I'm guy for like two months this, online. This is the best reaction. I swear to God, I do not. I hold on. Can you can you talk to me for a second? You do not do social hey, media at all. Hey, can you talk to me for a second? Yes. What? Right. I've known him since fucking like kindergarten. I've not had a physical attraction to him ever. He's my dude 100%, but I've always thought he was gay. Has he been talking to you? Yes! I've been talking to him for like two months. Listen, Kenny, this can stay between me and you. Like, you might not be comfortable with it. I don't care, dude. See? I don't care. Kenny. Can I, I see that profile thing that you have? Can no, you, you cannot up? see this profile. I'm pissed at you now. You're supposed to be right there. Really? Like, just romantic? And you are gonna take me out for dinner and dancing. We watch Cupcake Bosses over Skype together. <laughs> I can't believe I did that with you. This is fucking Wait, bullshit. By the way, 
that was the best reaction. Why are you being like this? Is it he because like, he's not one hundred percent? But I've always <laughs> thought he was gay. Why? Like, and here's what's crazy: after we shot that, they didn't want to sign a release, and like the like Jillian and the other producers were like, "Let's just keep going." I was like, "No!" I was like, "That's the greatest reaction yeah. I've ever gotten," and we can't just blur their faces. Like, and so I spent like a half hour convincing those two guys Aww. to sign the release form. See, and, and I was I was gonna say like, here's the thing. I don't. I love Gabriel. I don't feel like you're being mean. You're not being homophobic. This isn't no, making fun. Not at all. If anything, it's showing the other like reality of like people's you know negativity and uh, yeah. that want for one. So I, I never thought this was like a mean anti anything. Uh, but two, I wanted to point out everybody you see had to sign we, when we did this legally. We had to make sure everybody yeah. signed. So even though it seems like oh this is mean or stuff, no, we had to get their signatures on. A, we had a phone app that like. They they yeah. were on top of it because that was what it was. And uh, if you didn't, then we had to blur it or we couldn't use it. Um, that's the trick to, to real pranking. You have to do it. Otherwise, you can get sued up the ass later. But, um, yeah. yeah, these are all on the up and up. And Listen, if, if you want an open relationship, I can deal with that. I can deal with it. But seriously, you just have to come clean with me right now. I'm not gay at all. It's Gabriel. My name's Gabriel. I have a name. That's fine. I have two gay uncles, that's fine, but look, I'm not look, 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 look. But I'm not gay. Sees <laughs> <laughs> the camera. <laughs> uh, that's really... Did you... Hey, did you... Yeah. Did you in your I've been talking See, to you for over two awesome. months. <laughs> you're telling me all about your senior year at Mama's College and how you're a big football star there. The, the best type of pranks is when you have intel on them, right? And then yeah. they're, they're so much more oh, yeah. confused, right? Well, you're like, some of them, how some do you of know them my name mad. in my some college? Wanna, <laughs> yeah, some of them want to fight me. Well, because it, it also it's like because they're with all of their friends. So then it's like, dude, how does he know you're on the baseball team? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> they're always like. I was hoping to hit a home run later, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It, uh, um, so I look, I, I was like, oh, you can't do it. I don't know. There's always a part of me that's like, I don't know. This is still funny. Like uh, Sasha Baron Cohen did this with Bruno, like right. on such a huge level. And I, I thought it was actually really interesting because there's a famous skit of, if you guys don't know the Bruno character, he did it on the HBO the Ali G show. He's like he's playing like the Bruno. He's like, oh my god, this, we're having so much fun at spring break. And the guys, these all these like fratty guys are like, yeah. He's like, yeah, everybody party. We're gonna drink, yeah. And then he just keep, Bruno's like, and then we're gonna all make out together. And the guys are like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These guys who have been like totally like humping each other, make like spat each other's asses. And he's, they're all, he's like, they're all over muscles. each other. And, he's and like, then Bruno like pr totally just goes there. Is like. And like embraces, embrace. Everyone's like, yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna all make out. And they're like, well, yeah, whoa. <laughs> and it was such a. I, I, I always like those more reveals because it's more about the people and the telling. And you're yeah. just like, what is going on? So, we, uh, Gabriel's one of my favorites. There, you did, you did a bunch. Uh, the spring break yeah. sluts was pretty bad too, where you would go up to people. <laughs> He would yeah, go he could up, not do that now. He would but. no, you couldn't do it. That was what we wouldn't do now. He would go up to women and just people and be like, "Hey, we're doing a documentary about spring break. Uh, would you mind? Si would you like to be talk? Sure. Uh, would you sign the release form? Great. All right, we got them to sign the release form. Awesome. Welcome to spring break sluts. I'm here with Angela, the biggest slut on the beach. <laughs> the girls. Yeah, I like I, my so my, like my whole demeanor just completely <laughs> changed as soon as I knew. But what's funny is like. That was towards, I'll, I'll never forget shooting the first one. It was towards the end of the day. And we were trying to get one more like in the can. And Jillian was actually supposed to be doing it. So she would be interviewing the girls for like five minutes. And then be like, well, that about does it for spring break sluts. And then it just like the girls would just give like a weird reaction and it wasn't working. And so then I was like, let me try something. And then I just remember like using a really soft voice when I would talk to the women and be like, Oh, we're just shooting a regular documentary and that would really be great uh if we could just get you to sign this release and then as soon as they sign the release welcome back to spring break sluts and, yeah, it was like, i loved the prank just because everyone also signed again like we made sure they were okay with yeah. it it was like we weren't like tricking them most of them would just yeah. laugh because they'd be like because it was more a lesson yeah. of like don't sign release forms on a beach without yeah. approval or reading it. Because if you read it, it said what yeah. it was, uh, but they didn't oh, read wow. it is what was really the prank. So it was like, I didn't really feel bad because they were just like, whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, it was just very, anyway, that all and the then pranks, afterwards, yeah, we'd get them to sign an actual real release. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it was, uh, there, we did a lot of really funny, crazy pranks. Some, some would be harder to pull off today, but uh, man, that was, those were, those were the years. What, when was this like 2012? 
Yeah, 2013. Yeah. My gosh. Uh, yeah. Uh, but anyway, someday we will figure out a way. I want you to come back. We will go do another round of some sort of fun Florida pranks. I still think you can do oh, the yeah. prank game even better today. While being, you don't have to be disrespectful ever, but still be a little bit more, uh, you know, push people, push people a little bit. It's always I, I, fun. I need to, I need to do some pranking as Florida man. Yes, there's Let's a Florida Man prank there. series, absolutely. Because I oh, think yeah. the best, you can go mean, you can do things, as long as you get the reaction at the end, that yeah. they know they're in on it. Yeah. For like, a, To me, is the forgiveness of a prank. Like if you, if, they, if you see that the people are laughing and are cool with you, then it's pretty much yeah. more, you're, it's cool, to, it's good to go. And all, all the stuff we did. I got really good at being able to read body language. Like, oh, they're squaring up. Oh, he's, he's balling up his fist. Okay, <laughs> time, to, time to take it down a notch. Steph, uh, you okay? <laughs> oh, Andy, you might want to refresh your Amazon wish list. And um, once you do so, uh, Mike, Mike, <laughs> she's the bad. Did he just buy it all? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, you m I can't tell. It doesn't tell me who's no, buying hang it. Hang on. Um, Can Phil, you see Phil it? Phil saw. Where, where, where did you? Can I open it in a new in incognito? You Wait, can that's... do if you want. Whoa. Copy link. I thought I just did. Oh, we can't see the incognito window. Oh my gosh! So Mike, Mike just bought the mixer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Uh, well, Albus, I guess then we'll put it towards something else. And then it looks like, yeah, some of the lights were just purchased. Yeah. Uh, and it looks like the Weird Al was already purchased. The gummy bears are purchased. Yeah. Uh, and the Infinity Gauntlet is purchased. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. Zoom. Boom. Yeah. Crazy. Oh my God! Getting some early birth. All right. Well, now I know you guys are no. You, Kevin, my audience is no joke. I'll have yeah, to. I uh, was going to say, like, your audience is incredible. <laughs> like, they're awesome. amazing. I'll they have to set up a couple. The I'll put some refrigerator and the Bluetooth headphones that you could put with the Albus's. What is it? Well, yeah. No. Totally. Yeah. I, and I'll, I'll have to add some other. I'll, I'll. I can't put it there, but I'll, I'll throw <laughs> some small things in for the for the non uh, big donors because <laughs> clearly uh, we got some big high rollers here who are like, boom. Mike, Mike! Oh my gosh! Well, I will await those uh, to arrive. Uh, thank you so much. That's incredible and so awesome. That mixture's already coming in. I love it. I'm still fine tuning the mic. I've had a few back and forth. The mic, the mic's the biggest thing. Uh, I was looking at Joe Rogan's mic, but then I, have, I had oh, a the few shores. Those the shores, good. but I had a few people like you don't need it. It's overpowered. It's not Rock actually. Faster. You won't need it, and so yeah, Steph's giving me some advice as have podcastage. So I'm, I'm, I'm like, I, as fun as that would be to be like, yeah, I got the, I got the fancy, expensive mic. Got the Rogan mics. I don't, I don't care that much. <laughs> I just want something that's going to be solid. So I'm still locking that up, and a few other. There's going to be more things in there. So my goodness, thank you guys. That's incredible. I appreciate your support, Mike, Mike, Albus. You guys are amazing, and whoever else. Did Mike, Mike buy all that stuff? Did he tell you? Or is there some other mystery? No, there, there's someone else that's got other the other things, but uh, no, Mike, Mike, definitely the uh, mixer. Woo! Oh my gosh! Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's awesome. Uh, and uh, yeah, as I I'm finalizing this, I'm gonna do a members only stream. I hope this weekend is my plan, where I will break down more of the background on what's going on with the set. You're gonna get the sneak peek of where it's, what what it's gonna look like. Sort of, I'm going to give you a little bit more details as to what I'm, what's going on, uh, how you guys can help, uh, get you guys if you have advice or things you want to add, even just uh, to talk. So all you members, you will be involved. If you're not yet a member, hit join, uh, hit that join button, pick a tier, join the Planeteers, and I will make sure you guys are looped in first before anybody else on what I'm doing, how it's working. You'll get a much more clear idea and some sketches and things so you can see how all this is playing out. And if you want to help, great. Or if you just want to cheer and like, great. That works too. But I will be doing a members-only stream. Uh, I think I, I got to lock up the time. I think I'm going to make some time this weekend. So I'll let you know b before the weekend when you guys can schedule in so you can hopefully pop in. And if you miss it, you can still watch it later, but um, stay tuned. That is coming as well. Uh, but my God, you guys are incredible. Thank you so much. And go support my man, Kevin, and as well as Steph the Alternate over on YouTube. It's Kim on YouTube as well. Uh, let's see here. Mike Mike just sent a chat. <coughs> Andy, check Telegram. <coughs> uh, 
<laughs> Jesus. Uh, he's like, yep, it was either this or the headphones, so I got the mixer. My gosh, thank you so much. Uh, incredible. You're you're amazing. Thank you, Mike. Mike. Albus, yes. Well, don't worry. The funds will go elsewhere. Uh, I'll, I'll, I have plenty more where the funds are going. I'm also paying for a um, set decorator builder to actually help me install this. Uh, so lots more in store. So I appreciate you so much, both of you guys. Um, Mike, Mike, my God, you, you, you both. I'm not worthy. Holy crap. We're not worthy. 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 Uh, thank you so much. All right. There's a couple more chats. Let me catch up on Tia's from Tennessee. Uh, sorry. I still have to read your links. You guys had links, but then we got so distracted. Uh, Tia's from Tennessee. Check the headphones. Those are out. Oh my God. And someone's like, I already got you the headphones. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Are they gone, Steph? <laughs> Let's have a look. I can't seem to look on mine. Hang uh, on, hang on, hang on. Oh my goodness. It doesn't uh, want to show me my link. The, uh, uh, Brittany's gone. Um, I can only I can only see now the uh, headphones, the mini fridge. And the go v rope light situation going on. Oh my goodness! That's and uh, ironically got the, headphones? the only thing that's on sale. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only thing that was on sale today. Yeah, there's the forty six ninety nine. Those are on sale. That's why I was I actually did it. It's like, oh cool, you can pick up. Uh, but uh, yeah, I got to. Uh, I guess the other, everything else was like boom, it's out. My goodness. Uh, T in T in Tennessee just sent a little a chat. Light. Jesus, holy crap, here it is. T change the headphones, those are out. My gosh, T enjoy the lights and the gauntlet. Oh my god, T from T T Jesus! Whoa! Jesus! It's like a, the, my birth early birthday already. <laughs> T is for Tennessee! This is Tennessee. crazy! Tennessee, Tennessee! Tennessee. Yeah. Got, you got like the best fan. Tennessee! Uh, enjoy the Very lights incredible. and the gauntlet. Uh, oh my god, and the uh, oh the someone someone she said the headphones are gone. Uh, change the headphones. Those are out. Oh, she's saying change them because I can't order the. Oh, I see. I guess I, I, I will sort that out. Noted. Um, thank you so much, Tia's for Tennessee. That's incredible. You guys are amazing. Uh, we'll send what I got back then. We'll send what I got back then. Nick knack. Okay. Uh, Rian the Diva says, I love, I'm loving your hair. Very nice, young man. Yeah, see, I realize it's good, fellas. You got to cu cut your hair, right, Kevin? Take care of your, take care of yourself. Yeah. That, uh, people yeah. notice and it shows, uh, makes you, gotta you feel better. You got to treat yourself every once in a while. Treat yourself, exactly. Yeah. I need some of that Phil DeFranco. Does he still have the hair gel? Does beautiful oh, bastard. The beautiful, beautiful bastard. bastard. Yeah. Range. Should you connect to, me to connect me you so know, I can beautifulbastard.com. Tell me, uh, yeah. have him send me. I will we'll plug it. I, I got to try it. Some beautiful bastard. Uh, yeah. King Bob, uh, Brittany was a um, was a pretty Brittany was a pretty order, but it's ordered. I think I'm going to get one for myself. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm getting one of those. <laughs> Mike, Mike, Andy, check Telegram. Thank you again. Your headphones are out of stock. That's what she's saying. Okay. I will adjust the headphones. I would just want I want those fancy Bose headphones. I had them once. I got them free from Screen Junkies and um they've blown my mind ever since. But then I'm like I always like I don't want to justify spending them. Pure audio bliss. Do you have them too, Kevin? I yeah, I've got a pair of uh they're not wireless, but I got a pair of Bose headphones. They are great. What? These are out? These, these are these are Bose too. Like um yeah, they make good stuff. This is it. This is in. Everyone's saying it's out. So it depends where you, um, where where you're looking at in the world on this Amazon wish list. Um, it's either going to say it's out of stock because it's out of stock in your area. So let's oh, let's just put it this I way: see. if you're in America, it's most likely going to show that it's in stock. But if you're somewhere, let's say I don't know Australia, it might say it's out of stock because it's out of stock in Australia. Uh, yeah, it's it's a bit dodgy that way because when I'm looking at the Govi Go neon rope light and the mini refrigerator, it's saying it's out of stock for me. Yeah, I can't get it either. But it's in stock for Andy because of where he lives uh, in America. So, okay, interesting. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, there you go. I'll have to, that's why because it looks like it's here, but it's having a shipping problem to me. But anyway, I will. Uh, I I'm looking at. I, I'm surprised. I'm like, why? Really? There's not a pair of Bose headphones that's universally available but it looks like it's not uh oh well 
It's fine. Don't worry. Don't stress. We'll 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 find something else for you to get. Uh, but I want to make sure uh, that is th those those are the ones I dug the over the ear. And it does this item cannot be shipped to your selected delivery location. That's that's the problem. I see. Yeah. There what? You go. what the hell, Bose? Uh, all right. Well noted. Don't worry. I guess people were trying to buy it out and they even can't. It's insane. You guys are incredible. Uh, all right. Well, I will, again, I, I don't want to do that while we're live. I'm not going to go shop live and have you guys buy. Well, you tomorrow, I'll have an updated list, okay? If anybody else wants to step up, you can do it or just check. And I'll, I'm going to add it to the link tree as well. So if you're watching late, you can check it, refresh, see if there's something else. You guys are incredible. And yes, all this stuff is going to be part of the new uh, studio. So I'd love to get you guys early on invested in, in part of it. Um, yes, I did wait, wait for the list, but you may want to look on Twitter. Uh, that was from me. Sorry, I sent you something on your Amazon list. Thank you so much, T's for Tennessee. You're so incredibly generous. Your office gift is coming through DHL. She sent something else already. My goodness. Michelle Malone became, uh, renewed their next level membership I just saw. Thank you. And then Victoria Quigley, the Jason Momoa video was highly edited. That's where we were. Um, and then, sorry, just check your telegram from Nick Knack. Uh... Wait, did you? I'm so confused. Now, Nick Knack saying they bought the mixer. Before Mike Mike ordered. I've got the screenshot for Mike Mike. He's got it. I, do I have two of them coming? I hope not. Nick Knack, did you order it through the. You can uh, always return any Amazon item to Kohl's for a full refund. <laughs> to Kohl's? <laughs> uh, yeah, to Kohl's, believe it or not. Yeah. You, it's It confirmed? How, isn't it not supposed to allow you to have two? Shouldn't do. It shouldn't do. Okay, well, mm. uh, Nick Knack and Mike Mike, I'll message you. Yours got confirmed? Mike's Mike's definitely confirmed. I'm, I'm Order seeing the... Shipping. What is yeah. it right now? <laughs> okay. Hey, Andy, I, I gotta run. Um, oh, my God. Sorry, all right. Off. Sorry, yes, Kevin, my man, go support him over on YouTube. Come back anytime. Thanks. Uh, Stephanie check him Kim, out. it was nice meeting you, ladies. Nice meeting nice you, Nice meeting too. you, too, mate. Thank you for sharing and, all your uh, stories. Yeah. Yeah, we'll so definitely... So much fun. Definitely have to do this again. All right, Andy. I'll, Hell I'll yeah. See you Thanks, buddy. brother. See you soon. See you. Uh, and there he Bye. is. There he is. Uh, follow him over on Twitter as well, Kevin Bruick. We'll have him back. Love you, man. Enjoy your day. See ya. Uh, there is Kevin. Uh, love him. He's always great. And... Uh, Good friend, so happy to have him here finally, and we'll definitely invite him back. Hope you guys enjoyed meeting Kevin. And yeah, mm -hmm. sorry, I'll, I'll. That's weird. Both are confirmed. Uh. Wow. Okay. Um. The uh, uh. Well, one of them can cancel the order pretty quick. Uh. Well, yeah. It says uh. Andre uh, Nick Nax is arriving on Saturday. Mike Mike's saying that his Tuesday. is going to arrive on Tuesday at 19th. So, Mike Mike, uh, I'm staring at both. Can you... Sorry, guys, I'll sort this out. It's, Dumbledore's <laughs> like, glad I went the PayPal way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Z was going to do that as well, I think. I have That's to say, weird. too, there was somebody in the chat. I think it was JC. And they said something to the effect of, like, look at Albus making it rain. Like the whale. Yeah, that's what Alpha said to me in the chat. <laughs> like, um, uh, d d d oh, what was it? Uh, where was it? Yeah, ju uh, uh, like to make it rain, just like the uh, exploding whale. <laughs> I was like, damn. Uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Mike, Mike, why don't you pause yours? If I'm just waiting, if Nick Knack, if you're sure. Sorry, everyone, let me, doing customer service here uh, <laughs> through Amazon. If you're sure, I'm just waiting for a screenshot to vet, confirm it. If yours is positive, her, yours is arriving Saturday, which would just be nicer to get that sooner than later. Mike Mike's was coming Tuesday. Mike Mike, if you want to pause, I, trust me, you can get the mic. That would be, Mike Mike should get the mic. No? <laughs> <laughs> Mike Mike yeah. should drop the mic and get the mic. So, uh, since yours is coming Tuesday, it seems, because I guess it's, I don't know why it's shipping from somewhere further, but if Nick Knack, if yours is positive, let me know, and then Mike Mike can uh, adjust, and then we can, Mike Mike, I promise, there's, there'll be more. 
uh, including the mic, which I feel like the mic should come from Mike Mike, the more I say it. Uh, mm. So let me know, you two, sort that out. Message me back. I'm waiting for Nick Nack to get, hit me back. But it looks like that uh, will work. Um, and oh my gosh, thank you guys. I will. I, I can't believe it's already pretty much all gone. To the two items that seem to be items you can't even buy. <laughs> and, I'm, and someone's like, I'm, "Your headphones are in my shopping cart, but I won't. It won't accept your shipping address." Yeah, I, I guess I got to go look for a quick pair of headphones to adjust to. I tried, but they won't ship to me for some reason. I don't know why they don't ship to Tampa. I'm figuring it out. Cleopatra movie starring Gil coming soon. I don't get the joke. Sorry, Otto. Starting, I mean, there wasn't there one with Gal Gadot. Is that what you meant? Nick Knack, yes, I tried to buy them, but yeah, not available. Anthony Curtis, the two men are from Funeral Home next door. You see its camera view. The two men, oh, the two men who came earlier on the video, they're from a funeral home. Oh, interesting. Okay, that would explain. Did they go tell the school? Okay, Mike, Mike canceled his. Great. Okay. And is Nick Nack confirmed? They must have done it literally at the same time. Yeah, that's crazy. Sorry, that shouldn't happen. That's but Mike, nice. Mike, all right, got it. Thank you, Mike, Mike. Sorry, Mike, Mike. They're both competing. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Trust hey, me. Albus tried to get it first. <laughs> Albus is like, I tried, but no, I'm out. But you guys are incredible. I promise there's more uh, coming, but uh, you blew me away, so I will step up my game, and I'll have some other smaller things. Hopefully, if you guys want to get at something else, you'll be able to pick out something else cute and fun. Uh, so love it. Uh, yes. And then Nick, uh, Nick Nack, thank you so much. Mike, Mike, I will reach out and let you know when the mic is up there so you can get the mic, mic first. And I will call it my mic, mic. How's that? Well, it's my, my mic, mic from Mike, Mike feels fitting for you, sir, given all that you've done. Mm. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, and yeah, T is see, I'm going to look in a second, uh, to see if I can figure out why or put a different one for you. If you're insistent, I will happily do it, but I want to get also to the other headlines that you guys grew. Cause I didn't get to say Kevin's. Let me go. You sent in the boss level. Yes. I don't just keep yeah. talking about all this amazing stuff. I want to, well, we will thank you, but let's also do some funny new. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. I got, I can't just keep talking about wish lists. I got to also deliver woman who sold farts now makes five K per day selling her boob sweat. How did we miss this? This is from May 30th. Oh my God. I hate this uh, oh. site. Like half the site is just uh, an ad. I can't see. There we go. Uh, remember the woman who made a small fortune selling her own farts? Oh, how could I forget? Well, you'll be delighted to know she's back. Only this time she's flogging her boob sweat. Despite making bank from her gassy goods last year, Steph Motto had to announce her early retirement because she was hospitalized for uh, eating too many beans. Uh, the fart fartrepreneur had a fiber high diet living off of beans and eggs which didn't go down too well with her insides and led to her experiencing chest pains caused by excess gas. It must have been a shame for the 31-year-old former reality star as she was getting $1,000 per fart jar. But before you start feeling sorry, she made a full recovery and is now selling boob sweat. She previously appeared on 90 Day Fiance and uh, she claims putting a jar together for her fans takes her 15 minutes with a social media influence spending up to four hours a day lounging by her garden pool to get desired perspiration levels. If the sun is shining, she claims to be able to fill 10 bottles of sweat jars in just one day, which are then sold at $500 a pop. Oh, my God. I love sitting by the pool, but it's also hard work. Don't be fooled. I Oh, boo-hoo. I also have a great set of breasts, and smelling the sweat, licking the sweat, would bring fans as close as they can get to them. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my gosh. Did she really just say that? I have a great set of breasts, so smelling the sweat, licking the sweat, brings fans as close as they can get. Oh, my God. She's making bank. Fair play. Sometimes I can vary. Money, but what? It can Oops, vary how long it takes to fill up a jar on several scientific factors, mainly the heat, movement, how, how hydrated I am. I try to drink a lot of water and sit as much in direct sunlight as I can. I like to call myself the human maple tree and the boob sweat my sap. 
I sit there, oh. collect my sap the same way a maple tree does. Once again, her unusual business ventures come with a sort of risks and setting the sun for too long is certainly not good for a person's health. Man, she's always finding a problem too. But Steph says she's taking precautions to protect herself, adding, I'm also trying to practice this craft as safely as possible with SPF moisturizer. <laughs> with boob sweat, I want to do things right. I want to be smart, start off slow, and have sustainable growth that doesn't overwhelm my body. <laughs> Oh, God. My goodness. Get that money, but also try a sauna so you don't croak from the heat. Wrote, wrote, wrote one fan. Uh, I'm surprised this girl's not selling her organs. <laughs> it's true. How do you, we know this is real? Like, I'm sorry, ladies. I don't want to be rude, but do you really feel like you could gather enough boobs? I mean, I got boobs, too, so I could tell you right now. Could I, gather, could I gather enough boob sweat? Let's see. Things I never needed to know. No, I mean... No! How would I put that in a jar? What the hell are we talking about? I'm in a hot uh, garage. How on earth would you do this? Is okay, this... but here's the thing, though. Here's my next question. 500 bucks a pop, 5K a month, they're saying, she, uh, per day. Yeah. Who are these people that are buying oh, it? Oh, Kim, there, did you not see the ones I've hit on the comments? <laughs> <laughs> one of them offered to propose to you live on air kim what do you mean where are these people don't be so uh they are here <laughs> they are all they are in our chat they are all over kim trust me uh <laughs> but yes why is a fair question to ask why boob say sweat something about that quickly which really confuses me <laughs> okay there's a rock here guys okay but second of all what makes you think, if you think I'm that attractive, if you think I'm that amazing that you're like, I want to propose to this girl right now. Never met her, but I'm going to propose to her right now. What? It's not possible that I'm married. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I mean, I would just, just be asking the question. I would just be flattered because uh, they'll never get it. <laughs> never going to get it. 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 Uh, wait, I was trying to look. I got a up. different song in me at the, for this story. <laughs> goes a little something like this my milkshake brings all the boys to y'all damn right they're better than yours damn right they're better than yours i can teach you but i have to charge 5k a day my milkshake yeah, brings all, the boys all right to well steph you're now single and mingle well, yeah would you sell a jar of your boob sweat for five grand a day um i'm swear but i gotta do this fuck hell yes all <laughs> day damn long <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know my tits were that fucking valuable. <laughs> Shit in the bloody bed. Like, seriously, Steph, guys. I, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, Steph. Don't you dare put that out there because you know we will make it a huge bidding war. If you just just make one jar and we'll see one who jar. bids. One I jar will. and we, we auction it off to the highest bidder for your, for your, your new phase. <laughs> Why not? Why but you have actually? you have to make a video documenting, not showing it. But you got to yeah, make yeah, a yeah. video documenting. Like, is this full of shit? Like, I guess honestly, I think it'd yeah. be a pretty funny video if you're like, all right, I saw this 90 day fiance girl saying she's getting boob sweat. I'm doing it. I'm gonna make it. Let's yeah. see. And then you know, fill blur whatever, <laughs> uh, deframe it. But I, I'm curious, is she full of shit? Could a, could a real person gather actual boob sweat? I, I, I do you think you could do it? How would you get it on? Would you get a oh, towel? The thing. Like, how how would you collect the sweat from I, the boobs to be able to then put it in a jar that's substantial enough? Like, it's um, what what's the Instagram? At Stepankaman. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I actually. Uh... Sorry, I was trying to see if she's explaining because I don't think she's explained it. How the hell do you, like, extract the boob sweat into the jar that, again, is substantial? Like, it's like that liquid, like, it's all... I would think you'd get, like, a rag and wipe it down and then squeegee it into the jar? There won't be enough, though, to squeegee it. Just absorb? That's what I would think. Yeah, it, it, I, I don't... How is this would real? You do it? My boyfriend is breaking up with I me, mean, but I have to fulfill 50 Tata sweat jars by this weekend. And this is what's going to happen. 
Okay, I'm going to keep pursuing what I'm pursuing. And because I'm doing that, it's going to take up more and more of my time, and I'm not going to be able to spend as much time with you. And yeah, I think she's full of shit. Yeah, I don't, I can't see how this would, no. Like, no. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit sweat. Maybe, <laughs> but like, like boob sweat? Mm. I, I, I think the only thing substantial that comes out of like boobs is actual like Bullshit! That's, I was trying to, no way no. that's real. I think she's doing like a a bell. Oh, what was her I'm name still... now? All you need is Delphine. Bell Delphine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think she's doing one of those where um she she kind of literally sold uh jars of like used bath water that she was in. She'd go in bath, wash herself and everything, film it, and afterwards the water, the bath water that she used, she would jar all that up and she'd sell it. She made bank on that. She's the freaking veggie made bank. This I'm calling BS on. I'm sorry, but no, no, no. I'm just confused. All right, so all right, I'm confused how she does it, but I'm also confused. Like, I'm sorry, guys. I don't. I hate to kink shame, but what do you do with it? <laughs> That's so gross. Hey, whatever. <laughs> oh, do you? I don't want to know. <laughs> uh, no. No, so anyway, it's all part of this website that lets you connect. Oh, interesting. It lets you connect. I don't even want to promote this site until I've done more, but yeah, it's like you do not safe for work uh, uh, things like this. So as a creator, you can put yourself up there and then sell these items. Interesting. Yikes. Well, there you go, Steph. If you can, f I, I, either way, that sounds like a very funny video. <laughs> <laughs> Does I would I would. That would be Steph a very trying video. to get sweat from a tit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I don't think it can be done. I mean, it'd have to be really hot shit. and sweaty. Like, when I go for a run, I get pretty sweaty. I could probably wring out my shirt then. So maybe. Mm -hmm. Like, I, if it's yeah, if Florida heat, be... and you're running, exercising a lot, I, I mean, I, yeah, I, I could probably get a little. But still, to fill up that jar? I don't know. That seems but crazy. It, but it, but it's not, it's not, bo it's not boob sweat. It, it's your armpit sweat that then just kind of migrates all around. Yeah, it feels like she's putting all of her sweat in one place. I, I don't even think it's sweat that she's putting in those jars. She, nah. She's putting in like water or something, and that's it. I was gonna say, how can you even authenticate it at the end of the day? Yeah. No one will ever know. Nah. I, I think it's fake. You guys are spending five hundred bucks on a jar of water. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Yeah, good luck to you. Yep. Hey, more power to you if you get some out of it. Fair enough. Yep. If people do are you. dumb enough to do it, then... I got it. I get it. Oh, gosh. Now, if I change the delivery, they can't see my address, right? No, no. No, they can't see your address. Um, the community is being extremely generous with my wish list. No, you can't see my address. I even spoke to Amazon before I set it up, and I said, is there any way, anything whatsoever? Oh, I see what like, the problem is now. I see the, the problem cat. is. Okay, I'm fixing it, guys. Part of the reason is because I have it sent to my P.O. box, and I'm adjusting it now so it doesn't – It's if it gets sent to my home, it comes over. There you go. So that's, I just, sorry, while we were talking, I did fix that. Uh, not, we could keep talking about boob sweat all day. <laughs> <laughs> or the lack of, I think it's fair. Where is it? Manage list? CB description. Okay, there it is. Yeah. And then send it to. There you go. There. But again, that's not shown. No, no, no. Like okay. I said, I double checked with Amazon before well, I I'm published and soon, set up so mine. The, there is no soon, way, no, not even like a cockamamie way of. of Finding out the full address. All right, I just adjusted the, the... Tell me if that works, guys. If anybody was trying, uh, T for Tennessee, or I think so someone was trying to buy the fridge or the, the uh, headphones, uh, it should work now. Can you check, Steph? I'm going to check now. Let's see what it says. It should work now. I think if I just change my address, all those items might be more easier to send because I was sending it to a P.O. box, and I guess some of these items are like, nope, this is too... 
Maybe it was too expensive, the headphones? They're like, we're not shipping that to a P.O. box. In which case, that was nice of them. But oh my god, good. Was that yours? Who sent the boob sweat? That was good. Who, whoever found that one, bravo. That was a worthy uh, uh I think that was Kim. It good was job. Me. Good oh, job. Good okay. job. I see her, and I, I always just think of that one video that you did covering the farts, and I just went, oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a sequel. It'll, it'll. We've got a sequel. Un unreal. Also, just for those of you who have been asking in the chat, I am following what's going on with Brittany right now. The hearing should be starting shortly. It's been delayed, so I have no updates for you because there is nothing to say. Well, there you go. That's it. And, yeah, I think they can get the uh, headphones now for you. There you go. Oh, was it yeah. Tennessee? Somebody was out there trying to get them. If you want to like, you know what? I'm going to do it. There you go. Um, so let me know if that works. And I think the, fr I don't know. The, no rush in the fridge. Actually, I don't want to put that here yet. But uh, yeah, thank you. I, I, I need that for the studio because uh, I need uh, it'd be nice to have. All right. Here we go. Um, Kate for peace says boost equals boobs. Okay, thank you for the support. Kathy, Karen Nixon, I look forward to you and your show each time. Thank you, any of the gang that makes it special, passionate, heartfelt, and fun. Well, thank you so much, Karen. You're a good Karen. Sorry that the name Karen Yay. has become so much trouble. You seem like a lovely Karen. And thank you for watching. Uh, class action lawsuit. Respectfully, I don't feel this is real. Yeah, about the boob sweat. Somebody out there with boobs, test it out. See if you can get your boobs next time you're real sweaty. Try the experiment and then let us know how it goes. Can, <laughs> can you get your poop sweat in a jar? Uh, when I'm sweaty, I'll just try to see, could I even just get my sweat in a jar? Uh, I'm, I'm very curious if this is bullshit because I don't know how you, how you do it. Because mm. she's not showing you the uh, process. She was bullshit. The f you really think she was farting in those jars? Nah. No. <laughs> Cause when, no, because do you know what? When I fart, it's kind of unexpected. It's not like, oh my goodness, wait, I need to get a jar and open it up and then aim it up my backside and then fart in it. No, I'm going to fart in like two seconds. Minus three, two, one. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, it's going to happen. So, yeah, yeah, it's going to happen. Just the logistics of it, it just doesn't work. By yeah. the time you got the jar, you farted. Facts. Yeah, no, it's ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Uh, How you doing, Kim? I'm doing okay. <laughs> I just you brought the story up. I know I did. I know I did. You're doing. I, it, it's just so weird to me. It's I don't get it. And like I'm not trying to kink shame either. I just don't get it. People are weird. That's all. People That's are just, strange. People it's are true. weird. Uh, all right, we had um. Uh, Re Rally Reg Kelly Reagan, Fourth of July shooting in Chicago, seven dead and forty shot. Ugh, too many of them. Cated for peace is an episode of the Danish Taskmaster. They had a task to put sweat in a jar. A woman used her boosts. Oh, that was the boobs. Sweat and won the task. So it can be done. See, maybe we're just ignorant to the collection of boob sweat. Uh, Kelly says you have you guys have no idea how many guys on Instagram hop on my Instagram lives and beg to buy my socks for no reason. All I'm doing is making spoons. Fucking creeps. <laughs> yeah. There are a lot of creeps out there. You should sell them, though. Come on. Sell the socks. Why? I would. Who cares? <laughs> Cash app for 100 bucks. You can have my socks. I'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> I just go buy clean socks. I'll be like, whatever. Weirdos. I'll take your money. Uh, James, uh, I, would, I would have no qualms taking idiot creeps money. If it's literally just buying my socks, I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, well, James, I mean, Andy, you are in like a really hot Florida garage right now. You could. Anybody wants to buy my socks or whatever. Pay for the new studio. Just you tell know? Let me know. I mean, I'm doing okay without selling the socks, but sure. Albus, Mike, Mike, if you'd like a pair of my socks, just let me know. You have to have them. <laughs> I'm not giving you, just not my sheath. Not my sheath underwear. Not my pouch. Uh. <laughs> Jesus. I uh, don't know if you heard. Yes, I heard, James, and I'm not reporting on it because we did mention it. And of course they were all denied. But I, I know you guys want to know, and that is news. They were all denied. Of course that woman lost. What did you expect? They're making a Cleo Patrick movie. What does that mean? Cleo, did you mean Cleopatra? Yeah, with Gal Gadot. That's sort of old news, isn't it? 
Thank you, Nerd News, though. T for Tennessee's maybe it won't ship to a P.O. box. Exactly. I fixed it. It should work now. Tennessee, let me know if you still were interested. Sorry, Mike Mike, said Nick Knack. Uh, I cancel it now. Okay, then we got back. Uh, that's what it was. It won't accept your P.O. box. That's what it was. Stacy Slade, please don't. Oh, sorry. Please don't read this out loud. Uh, one second. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. No worries, Stacy. I read it. I got you. I love you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All good. And uh, I'll look into it. Nerd News by Otto. That guy sells farts has... The girl that sells farts has mental health issues. Um, or she's just smart and making a lot of money. Who's really... Uh, <laughs> who's got the issues? The people buying it? Or the person making money <laughs> off of it? <laughs> Uh, you can call her unethical or weird. Yeah, a lot of words, but I don't know. I feel like she's kind of smart, right? It's just like she just, her, her morals are different than others. I, it's not illegal. What do I care what no. she does with her body functions? And if she can profit off of it, pff, I would have done it. Are you kidding me? Who cares? Uh, it's another Belle Dauphine. She sold her bathwater. True. Yeah. That would have been easy to do, though. Vito bought Belle Dauphine's uh, bathwater, by the way. He did not. Oh, you've never seen that video? Oh, God. I don't know if I want to, man. I'm good. Oh. That's what he was oh. known for for the longest time. Really? Yeah. yeah. I vaped Belle Dauphine's oh. bathwater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. What's up, guys? It's your boy Vito here with a very talented... That's why when I heard Belle was bottling up her own filthy bathwater and selling it for $30 a jar, I knew I had to get some. Here it is, Belle Delphine's so-called gamer girl bathwater. What we have here is a powerful holy elixir. And now, hold on, I will... Oh One, the, the, the trick Bless is, this is not her bathwater, guys. He did reveal, no. spoiler alert, it's a joke. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, a lot of people thought he did. <laughs> it sort of became it sort of became the uh, j the joke. But good mm -hmm. on him. He got the bathwater first and, of course, bl vlogged about it. And then he vaped it. And it was just water. Uh, and then he called his dad. That's right. I just, I want you to hear it. You're not going to kill yourself, are you? No, I'm not going to kill myself. <laughs> I, I love you. That's. I want you to know that. I love you, too. All right. I'll talk to you. Hey, what was why did he call I'm about to do hey how's it going it's going i guess Not yeah great. Not bad. what's going on with you just hanging out about to do a thing <laughs> about to do a thing huh dad i just want you to know something go ahead what i i want you to know something in case he dies vaping bell defeats breath what? no matter what happens i love you <laughs> oh my god why do you say that I just, I want you to hear it. You're not going to kill yourself, are you? No, I'm not going to kill myself. <laughs> I, I love you. That's. I want you to know that. I love you, too. All right. I'll talk to you. All right. Let's do this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, so crappily put on. Like, the backdrop behind him, too, with, like, the eagle, the American flag. Like, let's do this. Let's do it. We're going to vape this water. <laughs> we can't! Sick. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, dude. What is this chick bathing in that's disgusting? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. I guess this video is a fucking failure because I don't feel sh. <laughs> 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 oh, People thought he really did it, never actually watched the video. It's a very good video. Go enjoy the adventure that Vito goes on as he vapes uh, 
Fape's the bathwater. I miss these water. little skits from him. Yeah. Oh my I, I, gosh. That's why I love when he does these things. Uh, I'm just like, do more of those silly, crazy things. Uh, wow. Kelly, ring out a towel. I can tell you, I don't understand. I could ring out the bandanas I put under there. All right, so Kelly's saying you could. Let's put a poll. Could you fill a jar with your boob sweat? <laughs> I don't think I've got enough boob. Quite small. Okay, it's out. We'll find out what the, what the audience says. No, I have big ones and my boobs do sweat. I would love to make it useful somehow. See? Some ladies like, damn, good idea. Uh, Nicole Jackson, fridge and lights are out, are on the way. Jesus Christ! They, I think they just wiped me out, Steph. Nearly. Uh, it's your headphones that are left. Holy moly, it's just the headphones. Uh, sorry, I did the lights and gone. I'm done. Oh, it's there. It goes. Thank you, Tennessee. No worries. You did. I thought you were sure. But there. Oh my gosh. Bravo. I can't believe you guys already wiped up the list. Pretty much. Those are expensive headphones. No worries. And then we had trouble. But holy moly, thank you guys uh, for your generosity. I'm just shook always. Uh, I, I, I literally wasn't even done. So yeah, there'll be more, uh, stay tuned <laughs> uh, and I'll put some smaller little things uh, cause I want to dawn the shelf. So that way, if you're going to, if you can't afford a big item, you want to try and get something smaller. There'll be some other options there too. Uh, cause I'm actually, well, I'm building two sets, Ooh, oh. two sets. One of them will have yep. more opportunities for more stuff to be featured. So stay tuned. You're going to want to watch my members only where I break it down first. What's going on and give you a little bit more of a background. So stay tuned. Thank you guys. Incredible support. I'm um, just thank you. Um, and I think I've caught up on the chats. Uh, Steph, what did you share a link to? Yeah, I did. Uh... <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Is it boss level? It's... Oh, there it goes. Right. Just underneath of, the boob sweat. A lot of people have been messaging me about boob sweat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Although mine's like a typical Steph crazy story, to be fair. Here we go. I love Ouch. crazy stories. Sci Ouch. Scientists, <laughs> scientists warn men's penises are shrinking and it could have a big effect on mankind's survival. What? Yeah, yeah. Your pouches might get a bit smaller. Sheath are not going to be happy. <laughs> Award an award-winning scientist. Well, shit. This is real. <laughs> <laughs> I read it on the internet. An award-winning scientist. Are they going to tell me who this scientist is? Oh, it is. Uh, has yeah. made a shocking revelation that could shake humanity to its core. Penises are shrinking. Dr. Shana Swana. Dr. Shana Swan is one of the world's leading reproductive e uh, e ep 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 epidemiologists. Thank you. And her You're research welcome. indicates men are suffering from higher rates of erectile dysfunction and babies are being born with smaller junk. In her research, pub her research published book, Countdown, the Countdown, I love how serious it is. Uh, she believes microplastics and pollutants are seeing babies unable to develop properly, causing an overall feminization of society. While penis size has weird weirdly often been a keen topic of conversation in locker room talk, the revelation is much more worrying than one would believe. Not only are we being left with smaller penises, but sperm counts have dropped by more than 50% in Western countries in the past 40 years or so. Dr. Swan believes her findings show a global exist exist existential, existential crisis brewing and has pointed out to the growing number of toxic chemicals such as pathates, path pathates used for food packaging, which she alleges impacts how certain hormones are produced. According to the Daily Star, she writes in her book, Chemicals in Our Environment, uh, an unhealthy lifestyle practice in our modern warfare are disrupting our hormonal, her hormonal balance, causing various degrees of reproductive havoc. Babies are now entering the world already contaminated with chemicals because of the substances they absorb in the womb. Lab rats that have been exposed have been seeing their male babies born with smaller reproductive organs. These chemicals struggle to break down the environment. Uh, humans are in danger. She's claiming humans are an endangered species. Yeah. Even though there's billions of us, how mm -hmm. are we endangered? Well, I'm far more interested in the, the country. Wow. What do you think yeah. the country with the biggest penis is? I've already seen it, so I look out there now. Kim? I have no idea. I'm going to say... 
Oh, I mean, see, I don't want to like be racist. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, there's no way you can answer this without it being taken the wrong way. So I'm just saying, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, is it a? Is that a, I, if I if I was a a certain ethnicity that was known for having larger genitalia, I would just own it. And be like, hell's yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see. All right, let's look. Uh, Ecuador. Okay. Good for that. Ecuador, Cameroon. Bolivia, Sudan, and Haiti. And then Senegal, Gambia, uh, Cuba, the Netherlands, and Zambia. A credit from Mars. Is, it says underneath it. Credit from Mars. Mars. <laughs> uh, wow. Quality journalism. Yep. Pharmacist named a, a, reviewed the study <laughs> whether or not people are concerned about the size or shape or any aspect for the matter. Most of us wondered at some point whether our, ours is enough. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Ecuador is the most endowed country with an average penis size of 6.93 inches. Six. That's an average... 6.9? That's that big? That's, that's, I mean, I guess on average. I was going to say, that's not that big. <laughs> <laughs> Andy's not impressed, guys. <laughs> Seen way bigger. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's... <laughs> Play. That's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I, all right, interesting. I, uh, that, but that's the average of the biggest... Um, I the, just sent you a the list. The smallest is Cambodians. They have 3.95. Oof. That's that big. Now that's... Yeah, sorry. No, check boss level. I found the, the I'm list. sorry, I feel like is it in yet? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> hey, it's how you use it, uh, guys. <laughs> Kim, Steph. Average penis size by country. Wow, they're really... Of course they've done this research. <laughs> Liking it. Wow. Woo Centimeters, body size, percentage of height. Oh, interesting. So it has to do with height? I'm just saying I'm not mad about where Canada is on this list. That's uh, all I'm going to say. Where? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're pretty good. Mm-hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, there you go, guys. Chad, Italy. It's not bad. You're middle. Woo. Where's So the U.S. is like on the bottom? Yeah, where's UK? No. There, oh, oh UK, there you go. US is really low down there, yeah. 13 as opposed to 17, 16. My, yeah, come on, US. You got to grow those penises bigger. Jesus. <laughs> Get those penis come come enlargements. enlargements. Poor it's Cambodia. Appliances. <laughs> wow, of course there's a chart. Now, where where are the biggest boobs? Oh, there's a, there's a thing right there. That's right there on the page. Average breast sizes are also available. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Only fair. All right, what's our guess? Country has the biggest boobs. America. The fake boobs. If we talk, if we talk, no, if fake boobs, America, natural boobs. Mm, I want to say Brazil for some reason. I'm gonna go like uh, you're like uh. Swiss, uh, Sweden. Yeah, I'm thinking like Eastern European. I don't know. Here we go. Norway. All right. Oh, oh. Hi. Where's, oh sorry. I was close. Where's Luxembourg? Oh, that's in uh, Europe as well. All right. Yeah, I got in the top. There is Sweden's up there. Uh, Norway, Luxembourg, United States. Yeah, baby. Yep. Yeah, boy. Uh, wow. All right. So the average is a C or D cup in Nor So everyone in Norway's got at least a C or a D cup average. Mm. Uh, there it goes. And then it, down to Venezuela, B or C, A. Oh my God. Well, they, it's amazing that they have. They go all the way to tri double A, triple A, but they don't mm -hmm. even have like a double D. That's surprising. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. So in Africa, it seems like, yeah, there's smaller breast sizes, but larger penises. Okay. They're all good. I like it all. all it all works. 
But uh, there it is. Oh, that's there it is by color. <laughs> the orange is D's. <laughs> Uh, interesting. Well, who would have thought? Bra size by country of origin. Penis and bra sizes. That's what you there find out. The, the important stuff here. Yes. On. Yeah. That's just a little tidbit. You're going to pull out some dinner party someday. Did you know that the largest <laughs> bra sizes in the country, in the whole world, they're in Norway? We're in Norway. Mm. Aaron Brock, Andy, you are looking hot with your haircut. Ooh, thank you, Aaron. I'll accept that. Now I'm feeling, feeling, I'm feeling hot. Let me know if this ad goes in. Uh, looking hot. I'm feeling hot. Everybody take care and get your haircuts. Take care of yourself. Woo. You know what else I had today that was really good? I think I've already told you about this. I had a pasta burrito. It's like the opposite of working out. No, it's really, burrito. it's real what? good. Now I, you can get it with meat. I've shown you this. Uh, yeah, a burrito, but a pasta burrito. I'm gonna show you. What? Hold on, it's coming. Oh, oh, oh! I get it with the fake meat. Just FYI, I know that bothers you. Yeah. But uh, where's my menu? Fake? No. The real thing. All right, so here's the menu. Uh, oh my gosh! Italian burrito, and you get the meatball parm, and there it is. It's like a homemade spaghetti, choice of sauce, mozzarella, fresh mozzarella, wrapped in a homemade pladina bread. Ooh, I might just try that. It's pretty damn that good, that I gotta uh -oh. say. You can also get the caprese. Oh, I gotta try that. That looks really yummy too. Sometime, but there you go. You pour some sauce. You dip it. Mm. Perfect little nice little lunch. The caprese is very nice. Uh, mm. Caprese um, uh, uh, pizza. Oof. Yeah, nice. But they, yeah, see, I wouldn't have thought. I mean, it's just more carbs and everything else. But who would have thought? Yeah, add more carbs. Eat your spaghetti in a burrito. It's damn good. Whew. Wow. Uh, sorry, that. Kim. Did something happen? Um, Steph, how are you doing? Uh... <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> I know. I've been keeping an eye. I know. I see it. I see it. I see it. But I'm, 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 I'm liking this uh, pasta burrito thing. <gasps> you did it! It's 40k! Yeah. Yes! Congratulations, Sam! Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Definitely doing a 40k celebration stream, guys. It might not be this Sunday. Something's happening, and you guys will know near the time. Uh, Andy and Kim know, but uh, you guys will know near the time why it's not going to be this Sunday. But next Sunday, 40k celebration stream. <laughs> Watch out. We're so celebrating that one. Oh that's my amazing. goodness, that's insane. Thank you so, so much, everyone uh, that subscribed, that supported. Uh, huge, big, major props, and thank you to Andy, my friend. You are amazing, uh, and I adore you so much. Thank you for everything. Um, meeting you uh, and being your friend has literally changed my life, <laughs> and uh, I wouldn't be in this position without, you know, meeting you first and, you know, luckily being your friend and everything. So thank you so much. I'm not going to cry too much. Um, You've but, also worked yeah. your butt off, though, Steph. Facts. <sighs> Don't cut yourself Facts. short. <laughs> you, uh, yeah. you, they, yeah. uh, it's easy to promote somebody, but they got to want to stick around and actually be there. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I, too many people, Andy, without going into too much detail, have come into your life that I've seen and have just absolutely shot all over you. No, 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 no. So when I have like, uh, milestones like this and it's a reason to freaking celebrate no praise and and props to you as well my friend seriously um, well I accept thank you fantastic but also I, I throw right up, you accept. I throw <laughs> it back at you in that bravo and all that Aww. you've done and all the work because you helped this channel grow too this channel wouldn't have grown without Steph's uh, behind the scenes help but uh, yeah well deserved 40k that's a big one man that's a good one <sighs> 
Wow. You're you're real close to 50k, and when you cross that 50k, you know you're on your way to 100k pretty soon. Oh, that's that's the year two goal. Um, so by the end of April next year, um, I want to be at 100k and uh, get that silver plaque, and then do my own like uh, unboxing of the silver plaque because I remember when you did yours, Andy, and you had it with your son and everything, and oh my goodness, it was amazing and so so wonderful to see you get that plaque, uh, the one million plaque. We're going there. Uh, via yeah. hell yeah. Uh, yeah but for me to get like my own plaque and then get it hung behind me and everything oof yeah 100k don't know <laughs> don't know who's coming <laughs> I'm coming <laughs> I'm coming for your 100k plaque but yeah thank you again Andy and to everyone who has been so kind to jump on over to my little neck of the woods and uh, watch all my videos and everything. So thank you. But everyone that's just subscribed, give love to my new video. They're struggling a little bit because I'm trying to pivot as well um, away from the he she who must not be named kind of situation. Um, so, yeah, it's still me. Still the same me. Gobbiness and everything. It's just on something else now. That's all it is. But yeah, thank you again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 40k celebration next week. Woo -woo! It's a coming! It's a coming! Yes! <laughs> awesome. Awesome, uh, awesome. Keep keep speaking, though, for a second, because I'm fixing something while you talk, but uh, oh, keep okay. going. Sorry, give me one what? second. What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What the deuce? Did I just see it? I'm so confused. I'm a little bit confused now. About what? Ah. Uh, firstly, Albus again. Thank you so so much for that PayPal. Enjoy forty thousand. Lots more to come. Oh well, thank you, honey. I really appreciate that. And Mike, Mike has just dropped 100 in my PayPal as well for 40k. Oh my goodness, Mike, Mike, dude. Thank you so, so much. That's freaking insane. The both of you. Thank you so, so much, my friends. I really appreciate you both. Wow. Wow. That's insane. And for those that can't even consider donating, guys, it is so Steve, equally valuable to a YouTuber that you yes. subscribe, like, share, comment. That is worth its weight in gold just in itself because it helps that channel get into more of the YouTube algorithm and helps it grow even more. So if you haven't done so already, smash the hell out of this like button right now for Andy's stream. Let's get it in more into the algorithm as he pivots to other topics other than she who must not be named, who has now ultimately been defeated and she is now deceased forever and ever and ever. Ah, freaking men um i want to say something else as well oh yeah and even if you think oh I, I can't consider donating that's absolutely fine because when you watch any of our videos and you see an ad pop up it doesn't cost you anything it's free but it means that as youtubers we get a little bit of that ad revenue that helps towards, you know, our channel and reinvesting back into our studios, this, that, and the other. So even if you can't consider donating, if you watch one of our videos and you see one of our um, ads there, you are still financially supporting our channels, just in a different way. And again, it's free! It doesn't cost you a thing. So, oh yeah, goodness. guys, thank you so much for supporting all of us. And Kim, where are you at? How long will it take till you get to 30k? I don't know. You need to catch I up. I know. I, I, I'm, calm. I'm going pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, I'm, quick. I'm pretty happy. Um, I did just want to say quickly, I, I just got PayPals from both uh, Dumbledore and Mike Mike as well. Oh. So thank you very much. Aww. And Dumbledore is saying, um, oh, they're both, uh, yeah, they're both saying, Andy, you need to check your PayPal. Uh -oh. oh, my God. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, but what, um, in terms of, about my channel, uh, what uh, is in store for your channel? Uh, it's Kim, because you're really uh, keeping an eye on the Britney situation. So I am. what's happening um, there now? Well, I put out a video this morning. 
kind of just talking about a few things going on. I've noticed um, media wise, it feels like 2007 again. It feels like just crap media stories as much as possible to try to make Brit look crazy. My favorite one this morning is that apparently she ran out of gas and she needed help getting gas in her car. And Sam had to go pick her up last night. <gasps> There's literally a hearing right now going on about her father being deposed and everyone is talking about Britney's car being out of gas. That's and the I've said story? For a... That's insane. Sorry? That's the story? Yes. So instead yeah. of us talking about James Spears, her father, Jamie Spears, having to sit down for a deposition that he's been asked to do multiple times and is refusing to, we're not talking about that. We're going to talk about gas. I'm not saying that, it, I mean, this is speculation, opinion, whatever. Um, does it not kind of sound like maybe the media doesn't want to talk about the reality of what's going on right now? I wonder why. Yeah, it's weird. So, sorry, I'm really hungry. I don't want to, like, pass out. Um, Please do it. Basically, what's going to happen now is we'll have the first court hearing. There's a few more coming out this month. And I think we're going to have a lot of insanity um, in Britney world as far as the media goes, because people are nuts. Um, but what I've chosen to do, if you're interested in following this whole case, is I am choosing to focus on fact. I am choosing to focus on what we know to be true 100%. I am not going to waste my time talking about Instagram conspiracies or anything like that. Everything will come out on the table as these lawsuits continue. And I mean, the whole thing is the Free Britney movement itself was so based on looking at legal documents that we could get our hands on. It was based in fact. And I believe that any reporting moving forward with Britney needs to be based in fact, because people are sus. And that's just how I leave it. If that makes sense. So if you're interested in that, go check out my channel. You can subscribe to me. It's just It's Kim's. It's just, it's, yeah. It's just It's Kim. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Dread Not Metal. I am not me when I am hungry. That is 100% true. That is 100% true. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. I've honestly begun to wonder if I'm, like, hypoglycemic or whatever it means. That, like, if I don't eat every couple hours i like feel like i'm gonna pass out it's weird i don't know mm. yeah well i um i eat at certain times so um g generally speaking so what i'll do is i usually any anywhere between like 12 and half one for my dinner and then for my tea between like six and seven um and when when i when i stick to that there are other occasions that i can't um but when I do stick to that, I've found that, believe it or not, my pancreatitis kind of behaves better. Yeah. Because uh, when I started, I, be, I think it's called uh, intermittent fasting. They've now termed mm. it, but I've been doing it for like oh, 10 years uh, or something ridiculous like that. But yeah, when, when you're eating at certain times, um, I don't know, my pancreas is just in a routine. And so it's just used to it. But sometimes it still wants to kick my ass anyway. So <laughs> sometimes I wonder if it matters or not. But... I, I've noticed that when I started doing that, my hospital admissions went down like that. Woo! Really? So, yeah. Good. Stick yeah. with that then. If, 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 I mean, I'm not a doctor or anything like that. I do not have a doctor a degree. I don't have a degree, just not as a doctor. Uh, but yeah, anyone suffering pancreatitis, um, look into intermittent fasting, get advice from your doctor, of course, um, as I've done with mine. Um, but yeah, you get used to it. Mm hmm I said somebody say, Kim, have you been checked for diabetes? Um, I know part of why I, I have this hunger thing. Some of it is because some of my meds make me not hungry and then other meds that I have make me very hungry. So I try to uh, spread out how I have food in that regard. So yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I'm going to be fine. I'm fine. It's why you guys I'm never hungry. really see me eat on stream. 
Yeah. It's outside of my, like, um, as I call them, eating windows, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, ad admittedly, uh, the last time I ate outside of my eating window was uh, Vegas. But that was very, uh, the situation kind of called for it. And I was all right uh, mm -hmm. for the most part, which was okay. Um, but, yeah. Keep to the eating windows and seems to be doing all right. Uh, but guys, if anyone has any questions and ask us anything moment, uh, I've got my eye on the chat right now. So um, throw them over our way. Um, but uh, yeah, oops, what? Penis enlargements only here on Popcorn Planet. And actually, guys, stay tuned because... Um, in uh, later on this month, in a couple of weeks' time, Andy's going to be away, and uh, that means it's definitely all in a takeover of Popcorn Planet. Hopefully, he will still have a channel when he comes back. Of course, he will. I won't blow it up too much. Um, but um, there will be another ladies' night because we did one last time, and that was freaking insane and amazing and so much fun. Um, so there'll be me. Hopefully, if all goes well and she's all right, it's Kim as well uh shall be joining and um if she is around and available we may have a miss amy goodhart as well Ooh. i'll uh, dm her and see what she wants because us three the ladies night situation oh my goodness i I'm ju i just imagine it right now and i'm all excited and i'm thinking the possibilities are endless i think it's just gonna be so much fun so yeah ladies night stream on popcorn planet um it's probably gonna be the friday so i just think friday ladies night it just seems yeah. A thing, the way right? it should be. The way it should be. Exactly. And I gotta thank. Uh, or sorry, sorry. I, I, a couple of things I was doing, but then I also sorted out the fact that Mike Mike did step up. And Mike Mike got the Mike Mike. Oh my God! I'm gonna have Yay! the best microphone you can get. This is look at those reviews. Holy shit! Yeah. It's no joke. This is what Joe Rogan legit. everybody uses. This is as legit as it gets and it's a mighty penny but oh my god my mike mike will be top of the line thanks to our own mike mike as well as t for tennessee and albus and uh who my everybody my god you guys all stepped up like crazy uh buying so much stuff thank you everybody i once i get all alerts and we will do proper thank yous but uh, 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 um, thank you so much, Nick Knack, everybody. You guys stepped up like crazy. Nick Knack got the mixer. Mike Mike got the mic. So now my sound is going to be top notch. And then we had Tennessee and so many others stepping up, buying the rest of the gear. And if you still want to help, I will have more gear coming soon. But the big, the biggest two purchases that I wanted to get go sorted out with that mic and that mixer. So, oh, my God, I'm so excited. It's going to be so epic. And hopefully you'll hear a difference. And my biggest thing is getting uh, my, I'm trying to get Carlos, my friend, in to really help me now engineer it all and organize it. Because, mm. Steph, you have a special thing. I think you do it properly. I don't. And I got to, like, take a day off and actually f finesse this better when I redo everything. But my, my, my board, which I – can I show – will this show – yeah. This board was donated to me by by someone else way back, and I'm very grateful. This is a legitimate Yamaha, like, very nice board for for music, music and stuff. But for what we're doing streaming wise, it doesn't. It seems to be a little dated. I don't know. Something's off, even though it's like fantastic. And the problem is, like, like I have two mics. I have my mics that are on the first two channels. And then I put my line input, which is the Zoom that you're listening to, Steph, Kim. Mm -hmm. And then you, I, if I play a YouTube video, it all goes through this input. But the problem is I'm not monitoring it from the computer. I'm monitoring it from this mixer. And there's like, there's been problems. So the problem is what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it so my new board will actually hopefully work properly. I'll be able to have my mics into the board. That'll be through the computer. And then I'm going to have Zoom on OBS. We'll separate it into a separate channel. Is that how it works mm. for you? I also have my browser yeah. be a separate channel as well. So then for yeah. on my PC, I'll finally be able to get that sorted out where I'll be able to lower Steph's. I mean, it'll be everybody on Zoom. Lower my Zoom audio. Lower my YouTube audio. Actually lower my mic audio and adjust it. And then I'm, hopefully we get those nice headphones and even if I don't keep them on the whole show, I'll be able to monitor it properly to finally get everything sounding top notch, best quality that you can get. And so, yes, stay tuned. So excited. And oh my God, I just got terrified 
as my garage door opened. But hallelujah, <laughs> my garage door is opening. <laughs> Let and, uh, the sun so shine excited. in. And thank you guys so much. Uh, it's all good. Uh, oh my gosh, look who's here. Want to come say hi, buddy? <gasps> come say hi. <gasps> Do you want to come say hi? <gasps> what did you get? Who is... Oh, it's Thor. <laughs> Golden armor, Thor. Wah! Come say hi. I like your hair. You like my hair? Does it look good, buddy? Here I go. <laughs> Does it look good? Say hi. Does my haircut look good? You were like, oh my gosh, you went touch the back of it. <coughs> go like this. <gasps> Doesn't that feel nice? That feels so nice. Did you have fun at school today? <laughs> Camp. I love you, buddy. Oh my gosh, want to say hi? She's in her Stranger Things attire. Valeria! Nice. Did, hey. tell, tell them what you did today. Hey, Valeria. We went roller skating. She went awesome. roller skating with her friend to do, and she brought her Stranger Things attire to match. And I saw they're doing a Stranger Things night at the roller yeah. rink. <gasps> oh my God, I think we cool. might need to go back. Cool, that. I mean, did you have so much fun? Yeah. Love it. Oh, and you got a crayon? So much fun. I'm so sorry I wasn't there. Next time, maybe Friday. You like that toy, dude? He's a planeteer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'll wrap up soon, okay? And then we'll play. And, and, and what is this? That was for the Blockbuster sign. I don't know where it went. But thank you for finding it. I will fix it for you, dude. I love you, buddy. Bye. Bye. Do you want your Thor? Yeah. You left your Thor. What's this called again? This is Stormbreaker. Right? Yeah. Brrr, go do it. Love you guys. Very cute. You like my hair, baby? Yeah. Looks nice? Yes. Very nice. Everyone likes my hair. I love it. Good. I'm happy everyone Latin likes it. Haircut. My Latin haircut. Exactly. It was very... I, I go to a, a Latin bar. They give the best haircuts. It's true. My best haircut ever, Johnny knows, was in Puerto Rico. Yes. Mm, yeah. Cool. I got the best haircut ever there. Uh, well, there we go. Amazing. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, what? Where was I? Oh, good. Yeah, we can wrap You're up the show. This has been a loud, sh long show. Um, but, uh, Mike, Mike, thank you so much. Everybody uh, who stepped up, Nick, Knack, Mike, Mike, Tennessee. I'm sorry. Everybody else who actually Albus, uh, when, when the items come, I will make sure we properly thank you and stay tuned for the members only stream where you guys will get insight on that. This weekend is my plan as we go around the bend. Lewis, are you watching? Are you going live? Let me know. Uh, anything else you guys already uh, sort of stalled a bit, but anything else you guys want to bring up or mention? No. No, I'm good. I'm checking if Lewis, thanks. are you going live? That, that, thanks for all your support for yeah. uh, every one of us. Um, and thanks yeah. to the community, Stay huh? Tuned. The community for yeah. actually Same. finding us, staying Same. here, watching us, stepping up to make this uh, re a reality to keep us going. Uh, yeah. I, I couldn't do it without you guys. And thank you for tuning in today. I noticed, you know, it was we we could have led with that woman. Mm. We could have led with that woman. We would have gotten more views. But you know what? We're trying to do something different here. There's yep. more news. Of we, we did our job, and we will continue to do the job there when we are. But I appreciate you guys who stuck around to the end uh, and help, or helping to build this community for what it is. We will always break the important news down, but we got to we gotta move on, too. We'll, mm. we'll go back from time to maybe like once a week. All right, it's time for our, our updates. <laughs> or if some big breaking news does happen, of course, we will break that down as well. But um, I'm glad you guys were here because I think today's topic was very important that we broke that down. And yeah. uh, there's some serious problems. Um, so uh, we will keep you posted on that story and others as they uh, happen. But thank you guys for sticking with us today and having a fun show. Lewis is going next. So... Uh, there we go. Uh, 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 uh. No, I think the only thing would be, um, if you guys feel so inclined, you can definitely support Steph's and mine's new videos. Um, Yay. just give them a little hit. Uh, that'd be great. And, uh, also support Lewis too. Support Lewis, support Steph, support Kevin, support Vito, support uh, all of our friends over here. Uh, uh, appreciate you guys. All right, let me make sure the redirect is there as you guys head on over to Nerd Report next. Oh, I hear my kid's having fun out there. <laughs> here, is he on? There we go. Talk that's to me so number. Oh, that's Jody's. He's his later. Who is, what is the picture of? Who is he posing with? 
Nerd Report is oh. posing with somebody. Nerd Report. His thumbnail. Yes, I don't know what that was. Oh, that looks like um the guy oh, from Smallville. 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 Um what's his name? I don't know. He was Lex Luthor. Yeah, well, Michael Summit, I think it was. Yeah. He's live. All right, he's there. We're gonna go head on over to Nerd Report if you want to watch a Nerd Report. Uh join him and uh stay tuned. We'll be back tomorrow for more coverage of whatever is happening. And uh we're we're getting close to Friday, aren't we? For Feel Good Friday. We'll be back on Friday. Florida Man, feel good Florida Man Fridays. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, hold on, I make sure I got, oh, there's a couple chats that came in. Really Hawkeye says, are you going to do a fanny size? <laughs> Where the biggest butts are? No, I didn't figure that out. I, I'm I'll, uh, I'll, I'm going to be, um, I guess, racist and say somewhere in Latin America. <laughs> no, if, you, if you're going to do biggest fanny size, then look at she who must not be named. I'll tell you something. KFC family buckets. I ain't got nothing on her. No, it's me. J Lo's got the biggest. Uh, it's a, you know that's a there's a. Hang definite... on, when you're saying funny, what do you mean? But booty. Oh, okay. That just completely was like lost in translation <laughs> because when we say fannies, yeah, we mean the JJs, like like the 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 lady parts in between where we don't have a dong. Yeah. Wow. I got completely lost in just <laughs> There you go. Uh, there you go. But no, we're talking fanny <laughs> size. And uh, yeah, usually it's it, Latins have big butts traditionally. Uh, and uh, who knows? But I'm, I don't know where that size is. If somebody knows, let me know. Uh, congratulations, Steph. Uh, which girls hey. have big butts in the world? A, a couple people wanted to know. <laughs> Uh, there you go. Go like Brazil or somewhere. You'll you'll see plenty of big butts. Uh, a okay. Skywalker ninety one. I if if you don't know yet, there are studies that over overexposure to lavender tea tree can cause young men to develop breasts. This actually happened in a friend's family. Okay, oh. good to know. I guess if men you want to have breasts. There you go. Adam Hefner. Uh, thank you for the joining and Jersey girl. Renewed theirs as well. We had a couple new members today. I appreciate you guys for joining. You guys are amazing. Well, there you go. Wow. Blown away. What an amazing show. Thank you so much. Uh, send the wish. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's coming. You got it. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. Nick Knack. Uh, yes, it's arriving on Saturday. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait. The Pro Ro Road Podcaster Pro is coming. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, all you guys who are, th you, you pretty much, you did the whole list. I think we have the headphones, but that's fine. Uh, those are probably the least important, but there's just me being, uh, wanting something cool. Uh, but no worries. You guys were incredible. And thank you for already blowing up my list. I will add some more items to the list. We will continue. You guys can uh, provide uh, more stuff for the studio. Please also support It's Kim on PayPal. She's not on Cash App. Uh, as well as Steph the Alter Nerd. And go check out uh, my man Lewis next. Uh, and congratulations again to 40K. Steph, so proud Thank of you. you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm like next level YouTube legitness. This is insane. You oh are. You are. Well, you both are. But now I feel like, yeah. Once you hit 50, yeah. 50 to me is like, all right, it's it's real. It's not, yeah. it's not just a hobby anymore. And then when you get into 100, it's like, oh, it's, I'm actually a YouTuber, like, for for reals. You get the plaque, like, like, YouTube endorses it. But I would say, you know, 40, 50, yeah, you're at, you're at a point now where you're like, that's not just a hobby anymore. That's Now it's starting to become a, a, a side, side gig. I know, right? And it's like, it's getting to a point where I'm even now starting to think and believe that this hobby, this thing that I enjoy doing... I could actually like, you know, far, far future, like quit my job to do this that I enjoy and have so much fun in doing. Like, oh, I'm already, I'm already planning for that. I'm like, let's wait another couple, a insane. year or so, and then we're gonna have yeah. the Popcorn Planet Network that will be running. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's all happening. Keep, keep, uh, keep envisioning it. <laughs> I am keeping envisioning it. Yeah. Manifesting. That Popcorn Manifesting Planet Network. It. It's, 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 it is gonna be a thing. Um, but yeah, oh wow, I just, it's insane, like, who, oh god, even think like a year ago, and now here I am here, it's just, yeah, mind-blowing. 
Yeah, and I remember there was a point where you were like, as this was all happening, Steph like wrote me all sad. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Do you have any idea how happy and amazing things are about to become? You have just your whole yeah. world's blowing up. And yes, in a way, negatively, but I, I was trying to help her remember, like, the, on the other side of the coin, how much positivity there is that you're now suddenly yeah. thriving in. And just the yeah. irony, this weird, sick, twisted irony of, you know, something personal like that happening. But in a way, I feel like almost was great because it, it yeah. allowed you to really lean in and do what you want. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's it's incredible. And, and it, I, I, we anyway. I, I'll. I'm not gonna. I was I'm gonna say something. Free else. And you I'm, are. I'm yeah, I don't want to say negatively. There's a lot. I, there are people speculating and saying, "Oh, or the, the Steph, Steph breaking up because of Andy and the YouTube and Popcorn Planet." There's <laughs> so much drama. <laughs> I just laugh. Hell? I'm like, really? "Oh my god, these people are insane." That? It's none of their. Really? First of all, it's nobody's business. It's with. nobody's business. What happened? They couldn't be further from the truth. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it just, it, it, there's a, there's other things that happened and that's on, on Steph's private life and none of our business, but yeah, it's always funny to me when all that shit is, is it gets, cause I don't, I don't pay attention to any of this shit, but then it gets to me. People can't stop sending mm -hmm. me hate shit. It's like, they're like, Andy, have you seen this? Andy, have you seen this? Andy, oh my God, I heard this. And I'm like, I don't, I don't want to, I don't care. Please don't click it. But yes, there is like weird rumors that it's, that's why I'd like to set the rumor straight on behalf of Steph. That's not what happened. Uh, I, I'm no offense, Steph. I want to call Steph with the clear. I'm not interested in Steph romantically. No, uh, no. I, I, well, no offense to Steph. I'd find no it kind of gross because I see her as like my sibling. Uh, it's not, there's, uh, it's, you're beautiful, Steph. I love you and all, but not like that. Uh, <laughs> and he's like my big brother, you guys. I love him, but he's my big brother. He, he's not. He's not my type. Okay, guys. I know. I, I know. I flirted. Andy, in the, type, I mate. flirted with people. I. I could. I've been a flirt. I get it. But no, I'm not. I'm not with everybody. And no, <laughs> not with. Especially with these two, because I. You know, it's like that's not. Yeah. It's not always what it is, people. My God, <laughs> guys and girls can be work partners and friends. It is a real thing. I just wanted to say quickly, there, there was one that I saw that people were messaging me and be like, did you see this? Did you see this? And it was people saying that when we were joking about me going, or not joking, but we were talking about me coming down to Tampa. Yeah. Right, potentially. Yeah. And Andy asked me, he said, would your partner be coming? And people took that out of context thinking that he was like, oh, are you going to be alone? But the thing oh. is, he's asking if my partner's coming because my husband has fibromyalgia and needs cannabis on a daily basis. And it has to be medicinal in Florida, which means for him to be able to go to Florida, we would have to get a doctor in Florida and then get him approved, which takes time. Well, and also, and I just want to meet. I want to meet him and hang out with him. It's a lot of work. And yeah. that's why when we talked about California, we're like, oh, we can go. No problem. Everything's yeah. great. Florida's a little tougher. <laughs> Florida's a little tougher. But anyway, so people, no, people find no the weird. weirdest shit and everything. It is what it is. <laughs> uh, but yes, I love these two around. in a different way, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, it's very funny to me. That's and it all comes funny. back to the fact that you, you, uh, uh, what I was trying to get at is, yes, you went through some sad stuff, and it, and it is yeah. what it was. But as we've learned, we believe in the universe. It all puts us in certain places. I went through my own shit to be in a happier spot, too. And uh, when you can step out of that and have such support from these amazing people, to, yeah. to I, I'm just so grateful the timing of it all worked out for you when it, when it was <laughs> when that shit hit the fan. We were able yeah. to lift you up and remind you, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, we got you, girl. Don't don't you dare let this define you. You're you're amazing, uh, and I'm so proud of you. And 40k is a no joke, Steph. So nice, good on you. Well done, well deserved. Woo! Just the beginning. Wow. Lots more yeah. in store, and uh, we couldn't do it without all you guys watching. So thanks so much to all you people, our incredible people tuning into us. Just literally, you're literally watching us buy people like buy things. I I need to provide more entertainment. I feel like more <laughs> often, it always makes me feel weird, but. I'll accept it. Thank you. You guys are incredible. And I know I, the reason I accept it is because I realized so many of you reached out. You want to be more of a part of it. And, you know, I think that's really cool. And I don't want to take that away from you. And yeah, we could use help, of course. So um, that's part of this community building. It's not just us 
taking all the money and gather. No, it's like, I know for a lot of you, it's means something to like, I want to support this thing I watch every day that I really feel of a part of. So when the wish lists are that are just like, cool, especially right now, I wouldn't just traditionally do that, but right now, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be investing a lot of stuff. And so all you guys helping, thank you. And for those helping Steph, as she invests in her next phase and Kim and all the stuff they're going through and Lewis, thank you guys for stepping up and helping us be a part of this. Cause I know it means something. So, uh, you're all exactly so much like we want to feel more connected. And so, yeah, anybody who wants to knock on us and say, we're just grifting, ignore them, fuck them. It doesn't matter. I get yeah. it. And uh, the connection here is, is real. We feel it. We live it. They're all jealous. Uh, and I'm so glad we found each other and look forward to talking each day. So thank you guys so much. And Lewis just said, hurry up. We're going to send them on over to Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> send them on over to Lewis. Uh, so head on over to Nerd Report next. And we'll be back tomorrow. Appreciate you guys so much. Enjoy your day. I know today was a tough day, but I'm glad we got to pivot into some positivity. So go call somebody you love. Send some love oh. out there and some support if you can. Get, get go. I always remind people, go scroll through and find someone you haven't talked to in a while and send them an encouraging note. Just positivity. Check in. Uh, we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. In the meanwhile, you'll be over on Nerd Report. In fact, let me do my proper ending. Well, there you go. Very intense show, but we had, did have some fun, and I'm so grateful all the people who stepped up and supported us like crazy throughout the show. We had so much fun, so many other fun stories. If you want to watch the full show, you can always become a member. Uh, in fact, pick a tier and join because we are going to have a members-only stream soon this weekend. I will announce that on Friday, if not tomorrow, and tell you when because I am going to finally unveil some plans of what's happening. Why am I moving? What's happening? I'm moving. There's a studio. What's it going to be? How can you get involved? All that will be coming forward to our members first because you guys are the lifeblood of this channel as well as thank you for supporting steph the alter nerd it's kim uh, and all your support of them means the world to me as well so thanks for supporting all of us and thanks to my buddy kevin bruick so glad you guys got to meet him i hope he comes back i think you guys will like him uh, as well as john hubbard always a pleasure to have him and my man lewis is going live next i mean it's pretty much the after show so go join go hang out with lewis go support him now he'll be there if you aren't watching live you can look it up or if you're watching live it should redirect you otherwise click on nerd report go search it and you'll find it and thank you carrie merritt got in the last minute with the 78 cents i appreciate you carrie and all you guys who stepped up today uh yes i did put an amazon wish list out i'll let you guys know more more tomorrow because they already bought it all out oh my god you guys are amazing uh we will see you guys tomorrow thanks so much for watching stay tuned for nerd report next you'll redirect if it doesn't work just go google nerd report he'll be live otherwise click on these videos after the video gets processed eventually bye